the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. So blessed by the testimony of Pastor Ike, and um, yes, I was very blessed by his testimony you know it's very touching when um, i understand not being able to pay for a venue but when you're unable to pay your children's school fees that is a very serious issue because the bible says any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel and look what the lord did when you engage the word truly to walk and pastor god will honor you even more than this in the name of jesus what has happened is only child's play i told you nothing just happens everything is controlled in this kingdom if it works well for you something made it so if it works bad for you something still made it so are we together tonight i want to challenge our hearts you know i've Monday is my birthday and I'm very happy about it. Thank you. Hallelujah. But I'm not happy because of the celebration. I, I, celebration is a weakness for me that I'm hoping that God will deliver me from. So if you are praying for me, I've given you a prayer point. Um, I can celebrate people, but once you start doing anything for me, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't want to have to do anything but i've been thinking of what to share in fact just the awareness that monday is my birthday and what people may do already palpitates my heart and i hate being in this kind of condition i want to be myself just to lie down and sleep pray if i need to um, but i i thought through the week now listen very carefully i asked myself a few questions why am i successful why is this ministry successful why the celebration you only celebrate things that work no one wants to be associated with a person or a thing that does not work and while just thanking god reflecting over my life i just thought to share with us something that is truly the conviction in my heart i will continue to share with us truths that will build us and i'll continue to pray that god will help us to hear because many of us just keep our ears open but we really don't listen listening is not just with the ear it's with your spirit hallelujah praise the lord By the way, I've been, I, re, I really have been thinking of what will happen on Monday because um, I won't call it disturbance. I, I love people, but I don't like um, ah, what's going to be the word now. So I was thinking probably we could just do maybe an evening service where I just come and teach you something. instead of instead of coming to listen my my greatest inspiration is not cake tea chicken how many of those can i eat it will, i will just give it out but if i'm able to do something that adds to your life then i think my day is worth celebrating and if you too can do something you must promise me that that Monday you will find something to do to someone that reflects the value that I would have done. 
if you can do that then it's happy birthday for all, all of us but if you are just strolling in the evening to come and receive uh, but i think we should do that protocol i think we can we can make that happen okay so we'll make that happen we'll meet monday by six just gather everybody um, it'll be a brief service just to honor the lord have me teach you one or two things whatever cake you have just bring it no matter how many i will pray on it everybody will eat it and then we'll go back to our various homes but then i truly believe one of the things that i want to do is to pray for you to just speak over your life i hope that by now you know the value of speaking over someone's life it's not just um it's not asking god to do things is creating possibilities in your life hallelujah so for tonight let's pray and say father open my eyes open my eyes jesus open my eyes you are the fountain of life and it is in your light that we see light except you reveal to us oh god we cannot know except you show us we cannot see except you guide us we will not be accurate hallelujah i'll share some more on monday but this word you see is the secret that make men great every man is built by the word of god not just the word of god that is read but the word of god that is revealed by the wisdom of the spirit and received and tonight i i just want to talk along these lines and we'll just run through a few scriptures as i challenge you i i truly hope that someone will be angry with your current situation whether spiritually or whatever dimension and trust that tonight's teaching will help build you let's start with john chapter 8 john chapter 8 and verse 32 john chapter 8 and verse 32 in fact let's start from verse 30 we'll read from 30 to 32 30 to 32 it says as he spoke these words this is jesus now many believed on him 31 then said jesus to those jews which believed on him he said if you do what continue in my word then ye are my disciples indeed and then 32 says and ye shall know the truth you will know the truth by starting as you continue somewhere along the lines of your consistency you will encounter something remember the context is continuation not just starting to read not just a five minutes devotional not just a one month study he says if you continue in my word you are activating something that will cause you to eventually encounter the truth he says and if it is truth there is a character of truth it sets free meaning that if you claim to know the word and it still leaves you in bondage or in that situation then the truth of that word the final the uh, how, how do i how do i describe it now when the word of god is broken down the unit of it is truth the capacity to be set free from life's vicissitudes the capacity to not be under the limitations of life to rise by understanding and by the liberating power of truth he says if you continue meaning it will take a while he didn't lie to you he said if ye continue then you are my disciples then he says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free ladies and gentlemen there are many people around the world with scriptures with books with tapes with teachings attending seminars and all of them will tell you they have the word 
all of them will tell you they have the truth but we do not see that liberating power of the truth in their lives not their spiritual lives not their finances not their ministries they remain in bondage in spite of their supposed encounter with the word something is wrong if it is truth that you meet the bible says the truth shall make you make you like i say make food for me the food is not there you are going to enter a kitchen and make it happen the bible says the truth if encountered can make what does not exist in your life it it never said the truth will bring you freedom there is no freedom anywhere like like if i tell you make jollof rice for me as at the time i was speaking there's no jollof rice you will search it and not find it but i said make it are we together your intelligence can gather from any market and any location the cow the vegetables and then combine them in a way that after a few hours there you have plate what you are looking for is freedom but it's not available and then the bible says when you encounter the truth the truth knows what forces to bring together and then all of a sudden something that did not exist will now exist the truth shall make you free free from what free from poverty free from fear free from mediocrity are we together now so the problem usually is that we may have encountered the word but we have not encountered the truth let's talk about it in john chapter 18 please give us verse 33 and we're reading to verse 38 something happened between pilate and jesus please listen and learn the bible says pilate entered into the judgment hall again jesus is being judged now and called jesus and said unto him art thou the king of the jews pilate was asking a question next verse we're reading to 38 jesus answered him sayest thou this thing of thyself or did others tell it of thee that means pilate had an information people were murmuring it outside and he came in he said are you a king looking like this the king of the jews and then the next verse pilate answered am i a jew thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me what hast thou done 36 jesus answered listen my kingdom is not of this world if my kingdom were of this world then would my servants fight that i should not be delivered to the jews but now is my kingdom not from hence 37 he said pilate therefore said unto him art thou a king remember this is a battle of reality and information he's trying to verify something follow me closely thou sayest that i am a king to this end was i born for this cause came i into the world that i should bear witness unto what talk to me please that i should be a testifier of the truth everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice so he's talking of truth now next verse pilate said unto him a question that people never ask what is truth notice the moment Pilate said what is truth Jesus said I am a testament of the truth immediately he said I find in him no fault in other words because you are the truth you qualify to be free if it is truth it always sets men free are you getting what I'm saying now so Jesus Pilate confessed that because you are a testifier of the truth there is no reason why you should be in this situation when truth shows up no matter what it is it must let you go jesus's remaining there was because of his love for us but pilate said before all he said i find no fault in the truth that's the same way poverty can say i find no fault the truth has come i must give way this has come i must give way when the lord opened my eyes to this scripture i said my goodness everywhere Jesus went that was a system of oppression it couldn't hold him for long because he was truth are we together they held him before a cliff he came out there was scarcity around the truth and the truth said no it shouldn't be 
and all of a sudden multiplication came because the truth was there are you getting what i'm saying now listen very carefully everywhere the truth went the ministry of that truth was to liberate was to set free when he got into your house no matter what it was that truth made men free he went to the house of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, come down. I'm coming to your house. And within minutes, because Zacchaeus hosted the truth, he was free. And thou shalt know the truth. If you ever host the truth, then the truth must make you free. Mm. Very powerful revelation. That means if we remain in bondage, the issue is not just Satan. The issue is that we may have been receiving scripture and Bible study, but the truth has not come. Because when the truth comes, the Bible says it makes you free. It fabricates freedom from wherever and ministers it to you. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Many people keep bragging around with their acquisition of scriptures and their criming of scriptures and their participating in teachings. Listen carefully. The truth is not just a right information. There are many right informations that are not the truth. You have to understand this. You only say an information is correct based on a reference. Unfortunately, the reference itself can be wrong. Are we together now? There is something that science, science has pieced together a body of facts. And whoever aligns with that body of fact with respect to science is walking in the version of the truth. Is that true? But science itself must be vetted by someone higher than it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Culturally speaking, there, are, there is a system of understanding and behavior built by culture. And to the degree to which you align with it, we say you are walking in the truth. So there is a lot of relativity when it has to do with the subject of truth. What is permissible to a person and within a context may not be permissible to another person within another context. But here's what Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, not a truth. The truth. That means I am the ultimate system of freedom and liberation. An encounter with the truth makes men free. If you claim to have knowledge of the word of God, if you claim to have found something you think is true and it does not produce the requisite freedom, then it is not the truth. It may be something else. It may be a well-meaning information that is correct based on a historical system of agreement. They have agreed that whoever does it this way. I give you an instance. In our world today, if a woman just looks at herself and says, I want to get pregnant without a man, that is not true as far as the educated opinion of men is concerned. Is that true? But when the truth was ready to find expression, there was a system that was created that would have been told a lie by science. Be careful what you call true and false. There must be a reference because with respect to God, there are some things that are agreed as true by men. But then when it comes to God, God says, no way. Lazarus died. That was the truth. Based on what doctors like David and his colleagues would say, they had checked him and there was no pulse. It was over. But when the truth came, he said, what did you say? Three days, roll away the stone. This is the truth. If it is the truth, he sets men free. Are we together? They buried the truth and covered it in a grave. After three days, the grave opened and the truth came out. If it is truth, then it must set free. The question is, 
why are we still helplessly under so much bondage we pray we fast we sleep on our bibles we quote bibles we listen to tapes yet it looks like our situation is not even scared of our spiritual investments could it be that we are not encountering the truth even before Pilate, the, proof, the truth prevailed. The moment Jesus said, look, leave the issue of king. I am truth. Pilate said, what is truth? And he said, this man is free. I may not understand what truth is, but I'm a victim of the effect of that truth. I must let you go. I must let you go. What if you knew the truth about your life and destiny? What if you knew the truth that you were not a victim of situations and circumstances? What if what they told you about your upbringing was a lie? It was culturally true, but from the reference of God is a lie. What if your past and what it told you were a lie with respect to God? A lie is not a wrong information. A lie is any information that was not brought from God. It's a lie. It doesn't matter how right it is. If it did not originate from God, then it's not true. Ah. Truth. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7, 2 Timothy, when you read from verse 3 and verse, uh, chapter 3 and verse 7, the Bible talks about this group of people, zealous people like we are. It says that they are ever learning please look up ever learning but never able learning does not guarantee an encounter with truth that you are sitting with a bible does not mean you are encountering truth that you are sitting with a tape did you hear the testimony of the dear lady who was listening to the seven days um prayer and fasting she said she had been listening to it just because you started the tape started and finished with your ear hearing it does not mean you can counter the truth. She said at that point a prayer came and light opened and all of a sudden she received and the results showed immediately. A friend that had no business helping her, that's the truth making a way now. The truth always makes a way. Don't leave no uncle nonsense. You don't need once the truth comes the truth will find a way around it because the truth is not just an information the truth is also a person so when the truth comes into the womb of a barren woman what happens the truth starts making a way it finds out what is the issue first and they say ah, this woman has no womb and the truth said there is still a way there is still a way prophesy to yourself and say there is still a way look at the challenges that stand before you that you cannot see a way does not mean there is no way just stop looking for a way let truth come truth knows where the way is ah you move mountains you cause walls to fall with your power you perform miracles there is That's impossible And I'm standing here Only because you made Sit down, let me tell you There is no uncle anywhere who is going to help you There is no a, An uncle only helps when the truth makes him part of the actors of your breakthrough Nobody just comes because he knows you Ye shall know the truth Many of us are trying to find ways and methods, whereas the secret is to stay until the truth comes. When the truth comes, light must come. Let me show you something. Let me show you something that will bless you. What's, what's, the, what's the scripture now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Um, Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. Give us from verse 11 and 12. Isaiah 29 verse 11 and 12 let me show you that just because you have a book called the Bible in your hand does not mean you have access to truth read it with me he said and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed it is one that is what 
learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot. Not because I can't open it. It is sealed. Sealed. Next verse. <laughs> and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Both the educated and the uneducated stand helpless in the presence of this book. Where is the key? How do men read it? I thought by being learned, I will automatically understand it. This is not science. The book is sealed. There is a spirit with the key that opens it. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your praise. Listen, listen book you see has written in it the codes of your destiny but it is always sealed i told you everything glorious is what covered no glorious thing is revealed you don't buy a product without a package so your destiny is there but it is sealed going to school is very important but when it comes to the matters of the spirit my brother my sister don't let the pride of education make a fool of your destiny that's why we have many intellectuals who brag and say what is god a can become c and they are trying to make c out of a forever whereas the maker is truth a foolish man can come with his foolishness and sincerity and say lord i, I can't amount to much my life you see is a testament of this they are life to those who find them when you find it it looks like a charm it's impossible for life to keep you down this is not some bragging no if it is the truth if you ever see a mountain start laughing there must be a way there must be a way Pilate looked at Jesus and said if you are a witness of the truth then I find no fault I let you go Are you learning something tonight it's not just opening the bible and then reading oh james chapter this the bible said this in the name of jesus i will never be that's that's just that's that scripture you are just playing games many of us keep flattering ourselves for many years thinking i'm not saying reading your bible is not important i have found the missing key why many well-meaning believers don't get results they are not lazy they are more serious than even some of us pastors Take laziness out of the equation. Why is life hard for many people? What is the mystery of this hardship? Close heavens everywhere. No help, failure, pain. There is a, an explanation. The book that you have been reading is sealed. Hmm. That you got a message from me to preach does not mean it has been opened to you. No, sir. Have you ever opened a scripture and then you are reading, you've been reading it and all of a sudden you see something there that you never saw and then you can mark that day and say something shifted. That, that portion of scripture was open to you. I remember studying about the anointing for many years. I read books and books. A lot of people got their revelation from Good Morning Holy Spirit. You've never had me mention it. Because I didn't get anything from it. I read it. Good morning, Holy Spirit. I was blessed, but I didn't see anything there. And I just stayed. If you continue, that's the key. And then one day, the portals, when it opens, it is open. When Jesus stood for to read in the temple, the Bible says they brought to him the scroll of Isaiah. It was open. And he said, this day, you have been reading it and thinking it's some prophet somewhere, but I am the manifestation of this. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you this. 
if we don't get serious with our lives to find truth we are going to keep convincing ourselves and jumping around quoting scriptures that for a very long time our lives will not capture the levels of freedom that befits one who claims to have that knowledge of truth I know many wonderful, lovely men and women of God struggling around in ministry, sincere. They won't steal nothing, they won't do anything. Notice that both the learned and the unlearned are still victims of the same thing. So what is the key? I will show you. <laughs> ah, I will show you. Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. We're going to read from verse 1 to 5. Note this. You know, there are many people who keep talking word of God, word of God, word of God. I, I don't have a problem with it. It is true. But we are missing something very vital. Vital. The book by itself is sealed. You will only read, a, you will read stories from it. For this cause, I, Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Uh-huh. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word. What is the grace? How that what? Uh-huh. He made. Stop. He made. I didn't learn it. How that by revelation, he made. Who is the he? Someone came to me and opened the book he made known unto me the mystery as i wrote afore in few words verse 4 whereby when ye read when ye read ye may understand my knowledge the basis of what you are reading is not just that i wrote someone came and opened something to me and i want to help you too because if all you do is to just read you will not find anything it says when you read you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ verse 5 which others which in other ages was not made known so this thing is made known it's not studied it's made known it's like occult it is made known if it has not been made known my brother my sister let me tell you you will fast and pray and never find it it is made known a man can receive nothing except it is given this is how we rest in the kingdom we keep struggling and thinking it's just by all of these things no your press and then he comes to make it known if god does not make it known you will never find it it is so obvious yet you will look and look and never find it it says which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by who is the he talk to me who is the he so the he comes to you and says this book cannot open except i am there the book can give you the word but the spirit can show you the truth you need truth that's what you need you don't just need word like word like that when you say this many believers think you are encouraging people to not be serious about the word of god let me tell you in all honesty i doubt i i doubt if i've seen any man that is more passionate about the word of god than me there may be but i've not seen one but i found out that your life is going to be a chronicle of frustrations if you don't understand how truth comes out of the word it says which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets jeremiah 33 please and verse 3 help us media jeremiah chapter 33 Please read with me, Koinonia is projected inside and outside. One to go. Uh-huh. Stop. I will what? I will what? I will show you great and mighty things 
which thou knowest not doesn't matter how long you've been studying it he said you don't know it that's why the results are not speaking but when you call on to me i will answer and the answer is that i will come and i will show you brothers and sisters listen to me we have ignored the holy spirit and carried bibles all around hoping that just by reading it intellectually we'll be able to put a and b together and the bible tells us that the mysteries in this book are sealed that's why they are called mysteries when you read the bible outside of the ministry of the holy spirit all you will see is potentials for possibilities you will keep seeing them but your life will never never experience them one of the greatest secrets in my life is the ability to allow the holy spirit to open up scripture open up scripture open up scripture john chapter 16 please We'll begin our reading from verse 12. John chapter 16. We'll begin our reading from verse 12. Read with me please. One to read. I have yet many things to say unto you. But ye cannot bear them now. Why? Because you are natural and these things are spiritually discerned. Are we together? Verse 13. How be it? When he the what? The spirit of truth. Not just the Holy Ghost. The spirit of truth is come. What will he do? Please talk to me. He will guide you through the book. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He will show you. Aren't you seen it all through scripture? People are shown things. People are shown things. If you are not shown anything, you will continue bragging around with scripture and never have results. Your assignment is not just to sit down and read your Bible religiously. Your assignment is among other things to cry for the manifestation of the spirit of truth. All scripture was inspired by him. He knows the codes that are enshrined in this book but it is sealed it will take hunger to cry for him but brothers and sisters when he comes and opens it to you you and all others will stand in awe of your destiny this is the mystery behind great men this is the mystery behind great destinies a spirit came to them and showed them things whether it is in the occult or in the faith life nobody rises without being shown things he must show you and i was taken in the spirit ezekiel and i was shown this what have you been shown or what have you been reading you have been reading in the name of jesus i will never be poor you have been reading he owns the cattle on a thousand hills you have been quoting it you have been doing everything but you are just reading potentials it is sealed when the spirit comes he will not quote the scripture he will show you the quote in the scripture when the holy spirit comes he will not tell you no 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 he will show you something that may not make sense for another person there's something god showed me about the anointing there's something god showed me about growth there's something god showed me about victory there's something god showed me on how to deal with enemies whatever is not shown you becomes the gate to your destruction you have to find out what you have not seen and cry with all your heart and say lord show me let me tell you how you know you have not sh shown you whenever you do what is supposed to be the obvious solution and it does not work then it means there is more there is more apostle i pay my tithe apostle i give apostle i'm a sincere man of god i study my bible all doors are closed there is something that has not been shown you let me use the example of our dear pastor did you think that all the people that rose up for him just came to asaba in the last two months were they always there so what happened 
why was the climate harsh over him look how well meaning he is i've been to his meeting once an adorable man of god and his wife it's amazing how life does not give the excuse for you being sincere it doesn't say you are sincere and then no sincerity is not the seed for greatness you can be as sincere as possible and find out that you are a victim of everything bad you know pastors come to me and they say apostle i can stand before god and tell you i love god with all my heart i say i'm a man of god if you are lying i will tell you and then they now say apostle but why is life treating me this way like i told you was it last week or the week before last i begin to nod my head in pain because i know that um the solution is not just to pray there is something that they don't know and my brother my sister until this book is open to you and your eyes see your destiny will remain small we are all gathered today now scattered across inside and outside and those following online because god showed a man something your generation is dependent on what you see they are they are waiting earnestly to say man of god what has god shown you that you can bring to the table if all you are taking to destiny is your degree get set for a big shock if all you are taking is just your sincere heart get set for another shock if all you are taking is your uncles that you know my uncle somewhere my auntie somewhere no i don't study the bible to crime scriptures or to preach i search for light i search for truth there are very few people who ever know how i study the bible because if i teach you it will frustrate you i can stay on a scripture for a long time because there is something i'm searching god can show me like a code i can see half of the truth and see the other part two years later and until i see it i will wait but when that code comes back 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 the seals are open and the results follow no devil stops it when when the seal is broken and open then your life will be a wonder even to you favor is here but is sealed there is a mystery to it the anointing there is a mystery the helpers of your destiny are here the problem is not the book the problem is that it is sealed when you are not aware that the book is sealed then you are in trouble because you will continue to read how many churches have continued to read this every sunday sunday after sunday but there is no one to come to testify that this is what God has done. Please hear me. I want you to learn. Some of you, it will take years to understand what I'm sharing with you. As simple as it sounds. Your goodness is real. I testify. Your goodness is real. Your favor is real. I testify. Your favor is real. Your power is real. I testify. Your power is real. When the Lord gave me the revelation on the body of Christ, let me tell you this. I didn't read it in any book. I remember lying down like a child when the Lord came with this scripture. For this cause, the Lord began to teach me that there are four encounters. The Son, the Spirit, the Word, and the Body. And that the reason why many people never rise in life is because they've had the three encounters but not the body i said so there is something called an encounter with the body and my life changed every true apostle of the lord must deliver a mystery to a generation there must be something god gives you by the spirit this is not just bible study it is that he comes to you he doesn't come to me every time but he comes I remember when God was delivering to me the secret of church growth. I read, I study, I've studied Young Gicho's materials, studied Bishop Oyedepo's materials, but here he comes. The code for your own destiny given to you that someone else will do and will not work for him because it was open for you. 
that's why you see people doing things that should not work but it works I'm doing my best to try to explain this thing to you. Sometimes it's very difficult to understand, to explain spiritual things. All you see is the result that follows. But behind those results are strange encounters that walk together. And they make a way. They make a way. Brothers and sisters, look at me. I love you. That's why I'm teaching this. I can come and just talk to you and we laugh and joke. I am so passionate about your results. And the way many of us are going about it, you will never find it that way. I'm telling you this. I'm saving your life from frustration so that you will not jump like others have done for many years. And then one day you'll find out they are not even in the faith. And they say, don't bring any Jesus talk. I've tried him. It doesn't work. You only tried scripture when you tried the truth sit back and watch it make a way strange ways in the wilderness ways that should not be there the truth will cut away out of a rock the truth will cut away out of a river and you will cross and they will look back and not be able to find the way again and they'll say hey jimmy what way did you follow and you say i don't know the truth just made a way the Egyptians tried to trace the way that the truth made for the Israelites. They couldn't find it. They drowned. The song of Miriam. I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Even the horses and the rider has been thrown. The same way somebody passes is the same way that kills another person. Because it has to be a way made by the truth for you. Someone can do a business that lifts him and you do a business the one that kills you because it's sealed it was not open for you someone can use the same word you are speaking to get favor you will use it and get destruction because you are just speaking light of the world you step down into darkness open my hands let me see Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Sing it one more time. You're the light of the world, you step down into darkness. When you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, you are in a position where you will remain in darkness forever. Jesus himself told us why he sent us the spirit of truth. Not just to pray gibberish in tongues. No. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us men of God. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us pastors. The Holy Ghost was sent as the opener of the sealed book to guide you into all truth the book is there but it must be opened by the wisdom and the intelligence of one who is not human he made known unto me he made known unto me he made known unto me first corinthians chapter 2 please give it to us first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 read with me please everyone is projected just read and then you write it down one two read uh-huh not the spirit of the world stop in any case you must receive a spirit so there is the spirit of the world that inspires men and opens codes for men based on the laws of life and they can manipulate it and get some results and God is saying so that when you are inspired you don't think it's the same thing that inspired someone somewhere there are two spirits there is the spirit of the world a man tells you he was just sitting down and he made a discovery it's a lie nobody makes a discovery a spirit comes to you and opens up a portal of a reality and then you quickly scrabble it and walk around it and the whole world marvels 
and they call you albert einstein and they call you michael faraday and they call you the right brothers the bible is saying there is no such thing as just a human invention by yourself it's not true a spirit must come to you and open up what is sealed but the spirit which is of god why that we may know the things that are freely given to us of god there are things that are freely given so says the book but the spirit of god the spirit of truth comes and opens you so that you will now comprehend and then you walk in the reality the light of it and my brother my sister your life will suddenly change in a way and manner your family members will look at you and say what charm what did you touch look at this come promise if by next week promise suddenly enters a dimension of the anointing a dimension of revelation and let's assume five jeeps come from different people around the world and is parked in front of his house nobody will say promise so you are this hard working someone will call and say promise come where did you go to who did you meet we know that the arm of flesh cannot produce that result who assisted you just tell me and he'll say well it's a long story are you ready to do what i say i'm ready now say okay meet me by 11 30. let's go to one corner somewhere so everyone knows you would be you would be unwise to see what god is doing through my life and this ministry and believe it's just hard work no no what more do you need to see to convince you no man can do these things except a spirit be with him with god all things are possible without him on your own there are things that are not possible many of us have been fighting alone do listen to what i'm telling you and you will watch your life change in a way that will surprise you i kept thinking about this and i said lord look at what you've done with my life all because i saw the holy ghost and i said holy spirit i am weak i am dull in myself i'm not condemning myself is the truth i am ignorant i may not even have the strength but if for any reason you can hold my hand i am available just that one decision turned my life around I shared with you about my dream and vision you will get it in different messages i can't remember when i preached exactly that i saw a whole generation of people crying and they were saying there was no food no water and i wanted to go and rescue them but i was weak in myself but then i was determined to go out the moment i stepped out there was a giant mighty man he just held my hands and said let's go and if our god is for us then help me stop us and if our god is with us then sing one more time and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then prophesy to yourself For the last time now. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand? Brothers and sisters, catch what I teach you and watch your enemies criticize you and waste their time. There is nothing that can be done about a man who the Holy Ghost has held his hand. Nothing. It's too late once the holy ghost holds your hand and says let's go you will climb mountains and walk through valleys when the door settles you are still standing and you will say to you be all the glory and men will say how are you doing it it's not by charms it's not by brain work this is not a plus b no
you see that I treasure the Holy Spirit so much to a point that many people just say oh this 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 spirit thing is too much just focus on the word you keep doing it that way and see whether your destiny will be open I believe in the word but the word is useless until the spirit breathes upon it he is the one who gives life to the word the first the first person of the Godhead revealed was him not the word the word came after he was revealed in the beginning look at the order God created the heavens and the earth we didn't have an opportunity to see how that happened in verse 2 there was darkness then the first of the Godhead if he was the first in the creation of earth he must be the first in your life too he's showing you how to come out of chaos many of us just stand religiously Acts chapter this John chapter this and we keep jumping around and the Holy Spirit says no it is sealed that's why an unbeliever will carry the Bible and all he will see is a compendium of controversies you will see things that don't add up in scripture God saying this one and God saying another thing and saying uh -uh, God says doesn't lie see how many lies he made because you are reading what is sealed but when the spirit of truth comes he will open your eyes others are looking but you are seeing all of a sudden you will see something others are not seeing and then you will walk in a dimension they are not working in I cry to God and say Lord this man is a weak man you have to help me and the Lord said he will help me and all of a sudden my life changed I'm introducing to you not just a book you have it I'm introducing to you not just tongues you can pray in tongues I'm introducing to you not just God in you you have him in you I'm introducing to you what Yongicho will call Holy Spirit my senior partner if anyone ever tells you what is the secret behind Apostles life if you say prayer you are lying if you say Bible study you are lying if you say worship you are lying if you say sacrifice you are lying all of those are secrets the greatest secret is that a weak man holds a strong God who makes that weak man a strong man that's what God can do that's what God can do the treasure that is in earthen vessel but held by a superior power that no force no cause no witch no devil can stop He told Joshua, no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Brothers and sisters, don't you see? It? You have been trying in the flesh. You have been doing, oh, I, I think if I, if I buy one golf now and I do this and I understand this and that investment, I will rise. And the Holy Ghost just stands back and watches the ignorance. And you, I, I know, let me just get one golf. I will be getting 10, 10,000 every week. I'm a smart businessman. Then if I get another job in the bank as you are calculating it, I'm not saying those things are useless. But here he stands, the gentle spirit, watching your ignorance and your pride punish you how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind power at work in you change Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? It's a little here, a little yeah. Still no devil is at work in you, changing. Holy Ghost, you're the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. Hey, you're the Holy Ghost, Center of the King of Kings. You're the Holy Ghost, Seal of the Age to Come. You're changing. to me 
that's the secret no matter how dull you think you are no matter what village let them laugh at you while you walk many people laughed at me years ago for holding his hands they laughed and today they bury their head in shame for holding my hand the holy ghost is not the president of a nation the holy ghost is not the ceo of a bank the one who turned chaos in genesis 1 verse 2 to light holds your hand and someone laughs at you what pride when he held my hands i knew nothing about the anointing when he held my hands i knew i had no zero wisdom you were better than me when he held my hands i wasn't as smart as you but i was stupid enough to hold him and say no matter what it is i hold your hands i hold your hands he will hold your hand as you go to the nations people will talk and say let's watch what will become of him and swallow their words after many years because there is a hand there is a grace he is the creative power behind this ministry the wisdom you see is not the wisdom of a man you will read books and read books and read books and be tired and never find it because it is a is sealed are we together sealed all of the things i do today about the anointing he taught me how could i have known how old am i aren't you seeing that what what is happening is more ancient ancient this is not the wisdom of a man Kadosh. Kadosh. you are mighty on the for me to celebrate things like birthdays what what are you celebrating who are you really celebrating take him out of my life and the secret of a foolish man outside of him is revealed but when he stands with you thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph listen I say it again there is nothing you can do with a man that the Holy Ghost has held his hands. No, sir. No, sir. It's a grand formula for victory. When he came upon Jesus, he turned Jesus to Christos, the Christ. Jesus was just a carpenter's son. Just anyone on the street. But when the Holy Ghost came, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, when he comes to your business, he will change it in a way that will surprise you the spirit of truth when it comes to your ministry listen let me tell you this i never listen i never stop getting amazed at the formula people invent in hope that will work out whether for ministry or whatever 
I teach you principles here, but principles will never replace presence. Principles only become useful when presence is intact. God is not science. Listen, oh brilliant people, I may not be as smart as you, and I beg your pardon, but if it has to do with victory in this life, someone must hold your hands and someone must show you. The physical principle of fatherhood should teach us that you never rise alone. Someone must hold your hands and lift you. We have ignored the Holy Spirit because of the embarrassment that follows walking with him. Oh, I tell you, there is big embarrassment walking with him because your way will not be the regular way of people because your life will not be within the context of others. But if you can be foolish to still stay and say, Holy Spirit, where will I go to? Jesus said, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? You alone have the key. I have watched people mock God I have they have not mocked God by mocking God directly they have mocked God by mocking his wisdom ah. there are people looking for anointing reading books getting all kinds of formula do a plus B add C to it then the power of God will move let me tell you this I say this by the authority of the kingdom you are wasting your time God is not a herbalist. It's only a herbalist you can receive charm from without a relationship. But when it comes to God, He will not show you power first. He will reveal Himself. Moses wanted to see His glory. He said, no, 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 Moses. I am that I am. Let's, let's discuss first. Every promise God made to me, I have watched it come to pass. As at the time He said it, I never knew how it will happen. But God, when he speaks, be foolish enough to believe that Lord you are able. God is able to do strings just what he said he will do. He's got us for not the Holy Ghost you are holding. Koinonia, hear me. I keep introducing him to you. Hold his hands and watch what he will make out of your life. Leave all the, the unwise people who keep mocking God. Just do A and B. C must happen. Who are you to make C happen? How old are you to make C happen? A plus B does not guarantee C in this life. The person to make C happen can die. But when God holds your hand, Anything plus anything can become anything. Doesn't make sense. Look at this. The dear pastor comes and all of a sudden a hand is laid on him. It's not a hand that is laid on him. It's more than a hand, my brother. If it's just laying on of hands, you go and do it. A hand is laid he carries that possibility enters a land that was not favoring him and all of a sudden things start changing I am a blessing to you and to the world today simply because of his ability to help me
Ebenezer is my testimony. I am a man who has been helped by God. Helped in every way by God. Ah, he said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, with the enemies that fool the world, with the enemies of the gospel, where do you stand when God does not hold your hand? The results that we now celebrate glory be to god but they are products of him listen if you think good preaching is what is going to give you influence forever save johnny i wish you the best of luck go and search the bible and search history and find people like alexander the who communicated mysteries that at the end of their lives they were almost committing suicide because even if knowledge abound, they will cease. Knowledge will cease. All of these things will cease. But when you want to become indestructible in this life, hold his hands. And do what he tells you to do. And walk with him. Don't command him. And say, Holy Spirit, my boy, go and bring me money. That's what many of you are doing. Holy Spirit, my boy, go and bring me my wife. Go and bring me my husband. Go and bring me members. Go and bring me prosperity. And he says, when I came to you, was I a tenant or the landlord? The word of God, the Holy Ghost was given to us, among other things, to unseal this. For many years, I read my Bible. Did you know, for many years, there were times that I would not even read my Bible for a while. I would just carry the devotional, repent and read it. Do you know why many of you open the Bible and it wearies you? You are looking at it, but you are reading something that is sealed. That's why you cannot get life from it. You will open today, you don't know what to read. No, not when he's guiding you. Tonight, we are going to pray. We are going to take serious time we are going to pray and embrace afresh his ministry in your life his person in your life he is the secret whether you are a businessman whether you are a husband you are a wife you are a man of God you are a woman of God the starting point of your victory is hinged on your passion and your love for him listen let me tell you this before we begin to pray. Listen to me carefully. When I was writing the things that I now do, that the Holy Spirit was revealing to me, at a point in time, I just sat down and I said, Holy Spirit, you must be joking. Is this it? This foolish? I think I'm smart. The thing with God is, the spirit of God is very gentle the moment you begin to interrupt his wisdom with your I too know mentality he just steps back you do it your way go ahead and do it your way some things in our lives are not just an attack it's us alone without him whether Satan was existing or not is the same trouble you would have that is the natural consequence of ignoring him I love him so much. Koinonia is built on intimacy with the Holy Spirit. He's the one who has given the word of God value. Look at what the messages are doing around the world. Do you think that is just because the message is so powerful? No. If he holds your hand, he holds your finances. He holds whatever comes from you. Someone called me the other day and said they were inside a taxi, a cab. And the cabman, every time he picks you, he, he, his own gift to you is that he will play one koinonia message. I don't know the cabman. And he just continued like that. There are people who have met angels who gave them koinonia messages. Not human beings. They entered meetings and gave them messages. I, I was I, true to, to God. I don't share all these testimonies. I was told of someone who bought a memory card. New memory card. New brand new memory card slotted it in his phone and all he saw was koinonia message new memory card with seal seal he opened it i'm not lying to you 
a pastor from Gambia a great a great man of God from Gambia we spoke yesterday he said he was so depressed and he got to a point where he was washing plates in his house and he didn't know what to do and all of a sudden he said he, he just went on YouTube and how he got across one teaching and as soon as he got that one teaching his life changed he said by next Sunday the church changed and exploded he saw the manifestations of the spirit the word seeds were coming and he said who is this he introduced it to his wife the wife listened to the same message he did the wife didn't know the message he had listened to but she went to search on her own and listened to the same message you had the pastor that came last week from Abuja just arriving here someone calls him to buy 300 shares it's not the work of a man no sir our parents are struggling now and suffering because they have embraced every other thing except him our our world is dying because we have ignored him don't join them don't join them to ignore him already your past the family background you came from is already a disadvantage on his own the only advantage in your life is him when you find him he will forget about your enemies forget about critics i'm telling you don't waste your time just leave all those things stay with him let him hold your hand my brother my sister and watch what he will do with your church and watch what he will do with your business and watch what he will do you may be crying while you are holding him i guarantee you the cry of pain will soon become the cry of joy you just hold his hands worship him hold his hands as you sing don't carry skill and a nice voice alone we live in a wicked world if all you carry is a nice voice you will not last one year human beings will suck you like an orange and throw you and look for the next happening thing but you remain fresh when you hold him impossible to be ignored impossible to be ignored he's gonna fulfill every My God is able. He truly is able. Listen. Look at me. In Nigeria today, an average young man cannot get established without some kind of bribe or some kind of thing. To have to corner and lie and do something. You want to walk in integrity and righteousness. The environment is already hostile against you. The fact that you name the name of Christ alone is trouble for you. They will hate you at your workplace, hate you everywhere. What then is your advantage? Your advantage is not just the miracles that he brings. The advantage is him. If you can hold his hands and say holy spirit i am weak i confess my ignorance i don't know so much i know that if i try to be established my way the church will never grow the influence will never grow but i submit to you you are the fountain of wisdom you are the spirit of truth open up to me and then the holy ghost will say all right you step back and then he will show you a b c and your life changes you will stand as shocked as those looking at you and just nod your head and say god what are you doing i hardly share my testimonies i had to minimize it because of wisdom and so that it can encourage people to rise there are things brothers and sisters if i tell you some of you will not sleep i myself the recipient of that testimony sometimes i wake up in the night and just sit on my bed and say lord what is this what is this Halakbara, you are the mighty god hey,
That song had been in my spirit for throughout last week. I don't know how to sing. You are going to sing that song. After it, we are going to take our time and pray. Help us, please. Jesus asking for anything we are going to take our time and pray in the spirit one of the mysteries that we were given to accessing the mind of God is praying in the spirit I like you to take out time and just blast in tongues and pray seriously in the spirit lift your voice and begin to pray everywhere inside outside those online follow us as we pray Shake it in the castle to Brigadia, Limonzi Pasata Paragada, Rico to Brigade Nigadava, Sete Brigade Sheke Paragada, Sipata Parate di Paragadosa, Ipanto Brigadesa, Le Catalabada Bagada Bagate, In Proto Sipalate, Repata, In Brigade Nevada Paragadesa, Shabana Bada 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 Bada
and foolishness I come in with my limitations and I come to you you are the only one who can make meaning out of my life I come to you lift your voice and pray and cry cry ah. for his presence in your life get tired of things not working in your life and cry for his wisdom cry for his wisdom Cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Cry Lord, I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I'm tired of making I'm tired of making I ask for your will. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Spirit of Truth. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Then the secret was revealed. Daniel did not find it. Then the secret was revealed. Then the secret was revealed. I don't know what area in your life you need to see the hand of God desperately. I'd like you to open your mouth and say, Lord, show me. There has to be a secret. Open up this scripture. Hey! Open up this scripture. Salam Akosia. Bereke heaven. You are the custodian of the wisdom of God. You are the custodian of truth. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me the secret to the anointing. Show me to the secret to increase. The secret to ever increasing fire. The secret to spiritual power. The secret to influence. The secret to activating my destiny. Show me, O oh God. The book is sealed. Open my eyes. 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 Open
What must I do to prosper? What must I do to rise? What is the key in the spirit? What is the key in the spirit? Listen, look up. When Jesus, watch this. When Jesus was transfigured, he showed us the secret to his transfiguration by the appearance of two men. The law and the prophet. Not just the law of Old Testament. That if you want to be transfigured, the principles of the kingdom and the ministry of the prophetic standing side by side like Moses and the prophet becomes your key to rising. When Jesus was transfigured, we saw two men. Elijah did not appear. Enoch did not appear because they were not responsible. They were not the spiritual mysteries. The Bible says that Moses, Moses stood on one side and Elijah, I meant to say, sorry. Ezekiel and other prophets did not appear. Elijah was standing representing the prophetic. Moses was representing the law. And he said the book that contains those laws, don't let it depart. He's showing you how to succeed. Jesus did not just rise like that. The law, not just the law of the Old Testament, the precepts of God. You can have all the principles, but there is no prophetic voice and you remain there. No glory. You can do something that should prosper because there is obedience to principles but there is no voice it's like ingredients if you have rice you don't need as much tomato as you need rice but don't put the tomato and see you can't say you have jollof rice because of that small tomato including salt sometimes you you need one mutu of rice and then a few spoons of salt but you refuse to put that salt and see how it will mess up the whole food something you may be missing because your eyes have not been opened you've done everything but the last key to just strike it and open it that's what i keep doing all the time that's what i keep doing all the time when i speak over your life i'm not repeating myself when i speak over your life i'm standing to fulfill all righteousness in the spirit by the wisdom of the spirit I've taught you that Jesus walked under a closed heaven for 30 years as the word of God until a prophet came to his life and spoke and baptized him, immersed him, and his heavens were open. If Jesus operated and opened heavens for 30 years till he met John the Baptist in the spirit and power of Elijah, your destiny will close almost forever until there is a voice. listen listen i want you to get to a point in your life where you no longer fight spiritual realities the earlier you learn this the better for you do it before you start having children do it before it gets too bad because darkness for sure is covering the earth and gross darkness the people But upon you the glory of God will continue to arise. It's not just because you are a man of God. We trade secrets in this kingdom to stand. And one of it is the Holy Spirit holding you. But not just holding you, opening to you the mysteries of the kingdom. Continue to read your Bible. But don't think you will find it just by reading. You will get to a point where he will give you the eyes to see. They are life to those who find them. That means he's missing no until he opens it to you. I found certain things in my life. 
it was Bishop Oyedeko that shared with us that he found the key to kingdom prosperity and he spin round and shouted yeah I can never be poor I'm sure people laughed at him but you found it if you found it you found it I want you to succeed I want you to excel I'm showing you the precepts of the kingdom listen take luck out of it don't call what you don't understand luck that's arrogance there is a very serious dynamic working that you are not aware does not mean nothing is being engaged you will see what will begin to happen to your life shortly when men say why is it happening like this don't lie that you don't know what you did yes it is it is the lord's doing that's why it is marvelous a man's doing cannot be marvelous in your eyes a man's doing is natural that's why i don't clap for you for walking because it's a man's doing men walk naturally born again or not but there are results that when we see we know that this one is the finger of god rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do this except God be with him. It's a message I want you to carry to everyone you love. Jesus said, come on to me. Are you seeing now? Come on. Does not wisdom cry? Come on to me. Why will you continue to suffer and struggle? Listen, I'm bringing us to a point where we fulfill Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not. He's giving you a word of caution. Oh wise man, lean not on your own understanding. He says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. He said, be not wise in your own understanding, verse 7. He said, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It is because we are wise in our own understanding. If God does not lead me, I don't have where to go. I don't trust what I can do. I will mislead people with my ignorance. But when he comes, you can dare the undareable. You can stand and look at Goliath and say, Goliath, you come against me with your bows and your spheres but I come against you in the name of the Lord God the captain of the host of heaven whom you have defied and Goliath you don't mind him while he's talking am I a dog that you are coming with a sling say just keep watching it's the same way God can give you an instruction by the Holy Ghost you've been dancing all the time but the Holy Ghost will wake you by two and say just dance to 230 it's not the ordinary dance you just finished dancing that dance will give you twins that dance will give you an estate and if people ask you how did you get it you say i dance they say please don't turn us into idiots how did you get it i know you did all those church things i said well, should i lie i'm telling you how i did it the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom I want to release my faith with you in one minute i want you to be sensitive to from today till sunday but i want you to ask the lord for three major things that you want to see done in your life things that don't ask for small things carnal things ask for something that is destiny shifting ask for something that that is able you know elisha had no business Gehazi had no business ha having his eyes open. But when he was close to Elisha the prophet, he said, I'm not seeing what you are seeing. And he said, okay, let me make your eyes see. He didn't say just, mm -hmm. take advantage of my spiritual climate and see what I'm seeing. A man came in the midst of Samuel where a prophet was. And all of a sudden the hand of God was upon him. He prophesied naked from morning till night not because he had been praying and fasting people have prophetic implications everybody walks with the spiritual climate that they carry I want you to be humble enough to pray and ask God some of you is your family you are crying for an intervention that must step in I'm going to give you the next 
let's use the next five minutes i truly am going to be interceding for you i'm not praying for myself i just want you to pray and agree lift your voice and pray don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time go ahead and pray hallelujah listen you are going to pray but many of you i am you're not you're not it's not the zest of prayer let me tell you something they met the disciples of jesus and say why don't these guys fast we are fasting and these guys are eating yet they are getting the results we are not getting and jesus said for as long as the bridegroom is there so there is something the presence of the bridegroom can do there is an advantage you can take the bridegroom is the one who the marriage feast is for are we together now the covenant of the marriage is with the bridegroom but because you are supporting through a covenant of alignment he's saying there are some things that you may not need to do when the bridegroom is not there in other words i'm not ignoring that principle it is what you should have done except for the fact that another presence was introduced that can immune you from it i needed to share that scripture just to help you there are some things that ordinarily that's the way you are supposed to do but god brings men to your life that you can take advantage of and expedite your journey ordinarily the disciples were to fast jesus said i'm not fighting fasting they will fast one day but for now as long as i am here uh -uh. there are people that when you are around i know people that just because you are around them you may never read any book on finances i'm telling you sincerely except you just want to add to your knowledge the least the their their greediest state is still higher than your greatest dream their presence if you meet prince charles and prince harry and say i just got you a book on five levels of wealth he will congratulate you for being that courageous to enter the buckingham palace and say walk out of this place do you know why because as long as they are in the palace if they are out of the palace they will do a lot of reading but as long as they are in the palace i teach you mysteries always find out what advantage you have based on who you are connected to not just god alone there are some things you are doing that if you have knowledge you should not be doing you should have others may be doing it if i'm a pastor in living faith today I, there are some things i should not do if i'm a pastor in mfm today and i have problem with my prayer life i think something is wrong there is a grace i should drink from freely if i'm not a pastor in that place i may need to dissipate some energy but when god calls men he calls men with certain possibilities and when you come within that covering that thing should work for you i keep drumming this thing but many people don't get it it's true it's true find out those who are genuinely connected to this anointing there are things they before they even learned the principle the result was already speaking it's true as long as the bridegroom is there you are immune when the bridegroom leaves so you can learn the principle so that you are not just dependent helplessly on the bridegroom but you can take advantage of the presence of the bridegroom you can carry a handkerchief from benihin and put in your pocket and enter a meeting and be surprised yourself at what is happening simply because you made contact do you not see that god will be wicked to allow you pray for everything no I don't pray for everything in my life there are things that you can get jacob and esau those two guys they were not praying for the blessing they were connected to a lineage that had it the father didn't say okay you guys he said just go and make me venison let me release something on you look at this esau did not receive the blessing yet see the prosperity that came the fact that he came out physically that's why ishmael today will the residue of that prophecy must always follow him 
there are things that should happen in your life my brother my sister there are some things that God has done for you already walking trying to save yourself from sin by your strength is unnecessary it was done by those who the bridegroom did not come for so they use the blood of bulls but now Christ has come and that sacrifice that you just receive that's the same way there are other things that has been done he gave gifts to men to ease their journey there are things in life are you ready to pray our time is gone I want you to open your mouth and pray pray unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come Bible says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet he shall receive a prophet's reward he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man he shall receive a righteous man's reward Pray. Shapakoto sopra da kashubi adabaladaba. The Bible says, "May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Send thee help from Zion." Abalado sada bakato she adabalakotiya. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. Pray believing. Pray believing. Who are down mountain before Zerubbabel? Who are down mountain before this man of God? Who are down mountain before this woman of God? Who are down mountain before this family? Who are down mountain before this business? Who are down mountain? Hallelujah. Jesus looked at Peter and said, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. But he said, but I have prayed for you. If he could pray for himself on that issue, Jesus would not need to pray. God doesn't need to do for you what you can do for yourself. Are we together? He said, Satan has desired to sift you like wheat. He said, but I have prayed for you. What was the content of the prayer? That thy faith fail not. 
he said and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren how do you strengthen them by teaching them that there are some things you cannot do for yourself and when you find what you cannot do for yourself find the grace that can make it happen for you peter i see you in a situation now i see that your capacity cannot go far enough to give you that miracle so i came in for you in this similitude advocate this mystery when you see people trying things and it's not working tell them stop 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 in this kingdom is all right to be helped find a grace peter satan desire to sift you like wheat and as far as your level is concerned satan would have he already had a headway but i came in Kabbalah, and prayed for you that your faith fail not he said when you are strengthened brothers and sisters let me tell you one of the most uncomfortable thing for believers to learn especially because of the teachings that we've had um of course the bible says you can do all things i believe the bible says that because of the provisions that god has put in the kingdom are we together now yes when i say i will serve you jollof rice it's not just because i can cook it's because there is a way of getting it available the most important thing is that you have it so when the bible says all things are possible it's because of the possibilities he invested within the kingdom are we together one of it one of the mysteries that make all things possible is the ability to tap from higher graces you are getting there one day but if god is to allow you get there before you get the result satan will eat you up before you get there are we together so jesus as a baby could not pray for himself so god put a grace in hannah the prophetess to continue interceding until he would grow in wisdom as a baby he was killable so god had to put men to agree when he became strong he started standing for others when the disciples were weak in themselves jesus stood for them when they became strong they stood for others too that's how it works in the kingdom believe all the possibilities of the bible but be sincere enough to know what possibilities are available at your level of grace and then you are able to find the grace and the anointing that can supplement otherwise you will stand in pride believing all things are possible and it may not work for you father in the name of jesus i pray for your people as inspired by you i have i've asked them to pray lord you hear me when i call in the name that is above all names surprise them in the name that is above all names i declare from today till monday that god has made my birthday in the name that is above all names help them please i'm declaring that all those who are connected to this ministry all those who are connected to this vision and connected to this anointing enter a level of strange wonders strange wonders strange wonders listen hallelujah you see i'm sharing with you many mysteries tonight hold on i'm praying for you bad days are times when unusual requests are granted read your bible there were certain requests that only happen at birthdays when a king was celebrating his birthday a girl danced before him ordinarily the king would not remove the head of a prophet but on a birthday season something happened when jesus was about to be born star that would not shine that much unusually came to the sky because a child was about to be born listen this kingdom is governed by mysteries bad days are not just the days when men are born bad days are signified by things in the spirit those who study scientology know those who study all of these things know 
Except that man is not relevant to the program of God. The same way covenants are enacted. 25th December. Let everybody die in this family. By 24th, someone starts getting sick because 25th is coming. Are you seeing? And 25th, a father dies. Next year, 20th, the spirit that is responsible for activating that covenant comes around again and someone starts falling sick. So it is. Bad days are not just a celebration of the day a man was born. A whole prophet had his head removed by a small girl. Could the king have granted her that request ordinarily? What would she be doing in the presence of a king? But because it was the king's birthday. If you understand what I'm teaching you, I'm saying this so that those hearing, especially online, will not say, is this man idolizing this? You know, sometimes I'm even a bit scared to share some of these things because I, I, I want to make sure that I am understood so that people don't say, I'm making you maybe worship a man or something. No, I fear God. But this is how this kingdom works. So I pray again that between now and Monday the 25th in the name that is above all names by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the power that backs up this ministry the grace that has helped me in the name of Jesus may my God bring strange signs and wonders to your life strange signs and wonders in your finances strange signs and wonders in your life I speak to you that the things that were difficult for you before in a way that will surprise you you will enter a dimension of ease in the name of Jesus Christ we declare that this prophetic word be signified by the angels of the Lord and let there be a strange performance testimonies after testimonies Hallelujah. Bless him because he is faithful. Lord, we thank you. You are worthy of praise. You are the doer of signs and wonders. Lord, we return thanks for the mighty things that you do in our midst. We say thank you. For the healings, for the miracles, we say thank you. For the signs, for the wonders, we say thank you for the liftings, for the transformations, for the restorations, we say thank you. Glory be to your name. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's hold hands together and just pray in the Spirit in one minute that the spirit of revelation will be mighty upon us even as we hear what the Lord has for us tonight. Go ahead and pray. Praise in other tongues. You're preparing your spirit to receive the word of God that liveth and abideth forever. Shake <laughs> Embrake to Lord. 
Brato Koso Dabalaba Barianda Kasubriya Dabalaba You are our God and we believe in you We believe in your ability We believe in your power We believe in your wisdom You are a mighty God and we are believers Abarato Sose Kete Balada Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, you were sent to us as the spirit of wisdom, as the spirit of revelation. We're gathered here tonight because we're passionate about knowing you and understanding your ways, accessing your power and walking in dominion. We ask you tonight that you open our minds, open our spirits, open our eyes, Give us capacity to comprehend, to understand the secrets of the kingdom. We have come again, O oh God. We declare that except you teach us, we cannot understand. Except you open up our minds, we cannot comprehend. So we cry, dear Spirit of the living God, that you prevail over us until the word of God becomes spirit and life. And I pray that the grace to manifest the realities of this truth that that grace also be supplied us tonight in the name of Jesus amen and amen God bless you please be seated hallelujah you know I never I never get I never stop getting humbled by the kinds of miracles and the mighty things that we hear every time we're gathered here I want to encourage us to not get used to these things you know there's a way you can get so familiar oh is the healing again oh is the breakthrough again your heart must always be in a posture where you receive every miracle no matter how great no matter how little with gratitude in your heart if it could not be done by man then he deserves the glory for it are we together if it could not be done by man then he deserves the glory for it lord jesus we thank you hallelujah tonight i'm going to be teaching but i really believe that um, i know we have a miracle service coming but i i just sense that as i teach tonight there will be a grace to lift burdens from people not just a grace for healing i sense this right from home that as the word of god comes all of a sudden just in the silence you're seated inside or outside or following online you find out that a grace comes upon you prevails over you and all of a sudden a burden is lifted faith is stirred up within you you find out that one infirmity just roaming around your body just leaves just like that listen let me tell you something John chapter 11 and verse 40 said Jesus was speaking and said did I not say unto you that if you believe you will see the glory of God there is a relationship between your experience of the glory and your believing God did I not say unto you that if you believe you will see the glory if you believe if you sit down doubting wondering oh can god touch me look the the we learn from scripture that there is nothing that is new under the sun it's true are we together people have been oppressed and the lord took them out of that oppression people have been challenged and the lord took them out of it your assignment is not only to listen but to listen in faith to listen in hope expecting acts chapter 4 when you read the bible says the man looked at them expecting to receive something you can look casually just hoping that the service will run and finish but again your heart can be opened i really believe i'm a firm believer that every experience if god is there something must happen to you 
I'm not necessarily talking about falling down and manifesting physically, but you should live. Who will not want to attend a service where you are sure you will not be the same? Nobody wants to attend the service and after the grace, there literally is nothing. You should know that you have been visited. His wisdom comes. His power comes. His authority comes. Faith is built. Your conviction is strengthened. These are characteristics of the presence of God. I believe that this is what the Lord will do in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Where's Binga? Please play, play me um, the strings. The anointing is on him tonight. You guys just follow him closely. But um, I just lay down to sleep a little and then I saw him playing the string so I knew that um, just just play minor keys for me and let's trust God to do great things tonight Lord we bless you one of the all over the world this is this is the period of Easter and generally speaking once it is Easter period across the Christian community pastors usually narrow their teachings around redemption around the cross um, every man of God attempts to help the people or remind them once again of the significance of the cross the significance of the death of Jesus his passion and everything revolving around it and um, as I meditated upon the things that I'll be sharing tonight I, I just felt very strongly stirred in my heart that the Lord would want me to teach rather on um, issues that relate to taking advantage, um, validating the death of Jesus, his resurrection using our lives. You see, as a leader, I have had the privilege of blessing people, teaching them truth and all of that. My greatest joy is to see the word produced in your own life so i can imagine that the joy that is in the heart of the father is not just that we keep commemorating periods like this but that we walk in the experience of what that death was meant for are we together now when the father looks from the throne and sees people dying of lassa fever dying being buffeted by satan it doesn't matter what discussion about easter we make it's a mockery hallelujah the experience of the victory of christ is what gives um consolation to the heart of the father especially at periods like this so i just thought to share something with us tonight that i believe will bless us open your heart and um, let's see what the lord will guide us to understand First Corinthians chapter 2. Thank you, Jesus. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. 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 First Corinthians chapter two. If we can read it, it's a long reading, but let's use amplified paul began to teach something very powerful and i want us to look
very closely verse 1 he says as for myself brethren when I came to you we are using amplified I did not come proclaiming to you the testimony and evidence or mystery and secret of God concerning what he has done through Christ for the salvation of men in lofty words or human philosophy and wisdom there are 16 verses we are reading everything for I resolved to know nothing to be acquainted with nothing to make display of the knowledge of nothing you know among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified now Paul begins by saying look when I came my goal was to present to you Christ crucified and then to buttress on the significance of what that should mean to your life so he said I have many things what he's trying to say here is that look I'm a Pharisee I'm not dull there are many other things I can tell you but I have limited the scope of my communication to you to reveal Christ and him crucified I could tell you about all that things but when I came to you I have an option to teach you other things but for some reason my goal is to be able to present to you Christ crucified and then to be able to help you understand the full import the gravity of what his crucifixion can bring are you understanding what he's saying here now and so he's saying and I was you know fear trembling and so on and so forth verse 4 sorry amplified opens it up so I will jump some things now verse 4 says and my language and my message were not set forth in persuasive enticing and plausible words of wisdom but they were in the demonstration of the Holy Spirit and power now don't miss the context the context is Christ crucified he says the theme of my communication is Christ crucified so every other thing that follows from this explanation is predicated upon that foundation Christ when I came to you my message started with Christ crucified so every other thing that I'm going to reveal to you is connected to this foundation of Christ crucified are we following now so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men human philosophy but in the power of God verse 6 it says yet when we were among the full grown you know King James says that we speak this wisdom give us give us King James and then we'll run to amplify it to see verse 6 we'll, we'll just play around with it it says how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect or mature now so look at his progression the apostle starts by saying look ladies and gentlemen when I came to you I had an option to begin to teach you other things to teach you the the, the to display the fruits of my intelligence I'm a Pharisee I'm a doctor of the law I'm a learned colleague but I chose to limit myself to present to you Christ crucified and then he begins to say that I have done this because I don't want you to just brag about intelligence I want your life to be limited to this reality alongside the blessings that come from it are we together now then he is now switching and saying look that we speak wisdom so he has moved to the subject of wisdom now Christ crucified and then wisdom yet not the wisdom of this world nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. verse 7 it says but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery now look very carefully don't assume you understand what he's saying we speak the wisdom of God but is communicated in a mystery Christ crucified the foundation of my teaching when I came to you I came to teach you something about Easter but I'm more concerned I have other options but I have noticed a lapse in your life and there is a dimension I want you to come into at is tied to the revelation of Christ crucified alongside the benefits that comes from it and then he says that we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery then he says even the hidden wisdom let's see what Amplify says about it seven amplified but rather what we are setting forth is the wisdom of God 
once hidden from the human understanding and now revealed to us by God it says that wisdom which God devised and decreed before the ages for our glory amplified says our glorification let's go back to King James so the Bible says seven please and King James I'm, I'm explaining something just walk with me media verse 7 and King James but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Listen carefully. It says, which God ordained for our what? So, Christ crucified. We see the cross. There is a revelation from there. And part of the benefits that come from there is an ability of the spirit to access what the Bible calls the hidden wisdom. And it says, whoever can access this, that God preserved it, that it is this formula that will be responsible for the glorification of the saints that this hidden wisdom whatever it is has a part to play in our revealing the glory of God that God himself ordained it before the foundations of the world for our glory verse 8 which none of the princes of this world knew for had they known it now he connects it back again for had they known it they would not have crucified so if they did not crucify there would not be the issue of the cross and there will not be access to this hidden wisdom that has to do with our glorification verse 9 but as it is written i had not seen nor ear heard this is in context of that same wisdom are we together now when you're studying scripture make sure you keep following the line don't just speak a scripture and delve he's communicating something here i have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which god had prepared for them that love him verse 10 now we see the holy spirit introduced into the equation the bible says but god had revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searcheth all things yea the the bible calls the hidden wisdom of god the deep things of god not the things of god the deep things of god so he starts by saying i came to you and i present to you christ crucified that if you understand the mystery of christ crucified alongside the benefits one of the benefits if you are well taught one of the things you should be taught is that the implication of his crucifixion now has brought you to a realm where you can access what the bible calls the hidden wisdom of god so christ did not just die just to give us eternal life alone yes ultimately but that there are there are certain implications of his death and one of them tied to his crucifixion are we together now is the ability to access what the bible calls the hidden wisdom of god and the bible says that hidden wisdom was prepared by god himself that at a point in the church age man will buy a technology called a mystery remember he said we speak this wisdom the goal is for you to access it but between you and that wisdom is a mystery you must understand it is not the wisdom that is the mystery the mystery is the name of the technology that transfers that mystery that wisdom from god to you he said we speak it in a mystery i go to sabo in a vehicle the vehicle is not me the goal is to take me to sabo but the means of transportation is called a vehicle the means of accessing this wisdom the bible says is a mystery so we are going to find out what this mystery is tonight and the bible says whoever finds that mystery will access the wisdom of god and the result of that encounter is glory glory that the saints in light don't just become glorified just because they want to on account of the death of jesus christ there is something that his death granted unto us are we together now and the bible says that if you find out one of those things that the death of jesus christ provided for you 
the hidden wisdom of God that is accessed through a mystery. I stop because remember Paul is teaching here and then Paul now begins to introduce the person of the Holy Spirit as the searcher of the wisdom of God but he said my, my point now let's leave the Holy Spirit issue we're coming there what is the mystery that communicates this thing that the Bible calls the deep things the deep things what are they because whoever can access these deep things the Bible calls them the hidden wisdom that not even the men of the world nor the princes knew if if they had known that the goal of Jesus' death among other things was to grant us access to that mystery so that we will be glorified he said they would have made sure the Lord of glory did not die are we together? Galatians chapter 3 we are coming back here Galatians chapter 3 please give us from verse 10 you will be so blessed tonight my prayer for you is that the things you are going to learn you will so understand them and they will produce strange victory in your life in the name of Jesus Christ for as many as are of the works of the law are under the cost, for it is written, Cost is everyone that continueth not in the things that are written in the book of the law. Read on. Next verse, please. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. 12. It says, And the law is not of faith, but that man, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. 13 then he says Christ hath redeemed us from the cause of the law and he tells us how he did that he says being made a cause for it is written cause is everyone that hangs on a tree we see the cross back again are we together now remember Paul said Christ crucified Christ crucified that's his message when I came to you I looked at a lapse in your life than the foundation to remedy that lapse is a revelation of Christ crucified and the full import of what the crucifixion does to you but I'm choosing an aspect of it that you can access the deep things of God on the strength of this revelation of Christ crucified and on the strength of those deep things you can manifest glory the Bible says that the blessing of Abraham I've taught you the blessing of Abraham is not cars, not money. The blessing of Abraham is not even what we call the blessing. The blessing of Abraham is what the Bible calls justification by faith. That's the blessing of Abraham. The Bible says Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. So we like faithful Abraham, we believe God and then we are justified by believing him. That the blessing of Abraham, justification by faith, might come upon the gentiles through jesus christ and notice this he says that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith so all of this journey is to make sure that even when we are justified that's not the end of it that we get to a point where we may receive the promise of the spirit there is something about a technology that transfers the spirit into a man and the bible says it was because christ became a curse on the cross are we together now and then we believe in that substitutionary sacrifice like we call it and the implication is that we are justified by faith what does that mean we are declared not guilty we are declared blameless having the righteousness of god the righteousness of god is his very nature are we together on account of that righteousness the bible now declares that the spirit of god can come upon us we receive the promise of the spirit through faith then it stops there paul now is trying to explain to the people when the holy spirit comes what does he do when the holy spirit comes what is the implication if there was no cross there would not be death if there was no death there would not be burial there would not be resurrection there would not be 
exaltation justification and that meant that there would be no access to receive the life of god there would be no access to receive justification and ultimately we will not be able to access the person of the holy spirit the final journey was to make sure that every man can become a host of the spirit of god and the bible says if satan had known that that death was a string leading from one place they will make sure that the process did not even start are you getting what paul is teaching them now had they known that the whole goal was not to punish a man but to use a man like a scapegoat and transfer the spirit of god in man he said they would insist that jesus did not die are we together let's go back to our scripture first corinthians chapter 2 okay just leave us stand there but god hath revealed them to us by his spirit are you seeing now so he has revealed them to us by his spirit we have accessed that spirit and so we have capacity to receive revelation from him and then he says something interesting he says for the spirit which spirit the same spirit we have received he's telling us certain things the spirit can do and one of it is that the spirit can search all things the deep things of god now we are investigating how to arrive there the Bible tells us where the deep things are stored. We are going to see it closely. It says the deep things of God. Then he now digresses to explain something. He said, for what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of that man which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit. Are we together now? So we know that the only person who can access whatever it is in God is the spirit of God. You cannot receive anything from God without the Spirit helping you. Do we agree? Next verse. Now we have received. Say, I have received. It says, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God. Why did we receive Him? It says that we may know. That we may, not just that we may feel spiritual. That the spirit among other things is resident in us that we may know the things that are freely given did you hear the bible says god prepared certain things to be given to the saints for our glorification go back please to verse just go back to verse um, five now i believe from where we talk about the mystery it says okay verse 3 i think it's verse 3 um okay six 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 i think it should be six how be it thank you we speak the wisdom of god among them that are perfect the word perfect is matured yet not the wisdom of this world not the prince of this world that come to naught verse 7 but we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery so this wisdom is spoken but it is spoken in a mystery a mystery that god ordained are we together and the bible lets us know that by that mystery we can access everything that is given to us there is a spiritual system for accessing the deep things of god listen if you understand what i teach you tonight you will know from where strange and unusual songs come from if you understand what i teach you tonight you will know where strange ideas and supernatural solutions come from the bible tells you that in as a result of the death of christ that you can access the mind not just the mind of christ the mind of the father that resident there is the hidden wisdom called the deep things of god he says whoever can find it the holy spirit brings it to you but there is a mystery you must engage listen the holy spirit is many things one of what he is is a searcher but he does not just search until the mysteries engage there is a mystery that you engage he no longer becomes a comforter he no longer becomes a he starts to search 
there is something that can be done on earth that switches the ministry of the spirit to go to the mind of the father and start searching the deep things and bring it to you and he says if you find it your life will spell glory Paul is teaching them Paul looked at their lives and said no everything I see happening to you should happens to human beings I don't see you accessing realities from another realm he said let me teach you something I I wanted to teach you a lot of things but I see there is no glory in your life let's start the lecture the foundation is Christ crucified that when Jesus Christ hung on that cross the implication of everything that happened at Calvary was to the end that we be justified comma to the end that we receive the spirit because no man knows what is in the heart of the man except that spirit so the father allowed his spirit who knows what is in his heart to be domiciled in every believer but the Bible says that the spirit of God is many things he's a counselor he's an advocate but there is a mystery that can be engaged that will make the spirit to live whatever he's doing and start searching the mind of the father and bring to the saints something called the deep things he said the hidden wisdom and says god prepared it for my glorification many people have taught that this mystery is just to blast in tongues and once you blast in tongues the holy spirit starts searching how many times have you prayed in tongues in your life and you have seen that you prayed and prayed and prayed and nothing happened but we speak this mystery when we come to those who are matured and we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery do you know what paul is saying he's saying i am when i come to mature believers i know that i cannot teach them peripheral things i have to teach them the deep things of god but when i come to them i engage this mystery and the spirit of god starts to download deep things and it is those deep things i give them when i come to those who are matured he says we speak this miss this wisdom to them but in a mystery a mystery that only the Holy Ghost can deliver unto men listen I show you a secret tonight that is the secret of depth eternally there's no such thing as being bankrupt you find this you apply this in your life in your business you will come up with things that will shock men everybody will know that this one this one cannot be from the earth realm it's not the wisdom of men so you can't learn it in school it's not the wisdom of the princes of this world so no elder can advise you into it this one is only available it was taught in the mind of God himself and only the spirit can access the mind of Christ but your own assignment is to find out what the mystery is the Bible says anytime that mystery is engaged the Holy Ghost starts to search There is a spiritual system for accessing deep hidden revelations there is a spiritual system for accessing strategies there are people on earth who have found this secret and their life becomes an unending wonder it looks like there is a fountain within them they have learned how to tap into an ability that is higher and greater than their age their level their education their everything this is what i want to teach you if you have this i can tell you happy easter if you don't have this we can rejoice for nothing and eat and go back and there is no glory in our lives there is a relationship between the sufferings of christ and the glory that follows the sufferings of christ and the glory that follows the sufferings of christ culminated in his crucifixion it didn't start in his crucifixion the sufferings of christ started right from his passion at gethsemane i hope you know that at gethsemane that's where christ became the second adam because two things happened to adam in the garden of eden first adam lost what we call righteousness right the nature of god he lost it he still had the likeness of god but he lost the image the holy spirit he lost 
so if christ were to be the second adam he would have to lose those two things too are we together now yes and the only condition for christ to lose righteousness is to become sin and he became sin through what we call in theology the doctrine of interpenetration that's what the communion is the mystery that two people become one a jimmy and his wife now as far as god is concerned are one she has her own body he has his body but in the realm of the spirit they are one whatever accesses him can access her without permission if he agrees she will pay for it because they have become one are we are we together now and the bible says that when that communion was broken remember i think i've taught this many times in this place that the reason why there were 12 men you see do you know why it was only men in 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 um in, in the upper room that's where they had the communion they were men because men are the carriers of the seeds and sin is transferred through reproduction are we together now women don't carry the seeds women only receive the seed and give birth to another life so the men there were standing 12 of them in number 12 is the number of government so they were there it was the whole world prophetically entering into that covenant where man can now christ can now take up the nature of man that's why he said if you eat my flesh and drink my blood you have your life so he broke himself and said eat and it gave access for him to carry the whole nature of man watch this then he went to Gethsemane and he began to cry. He said, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass. What cup? The cup was not death. The cup was the Holy Spirit leaving him. Because the moment the Holy Spirit leaves him, he cannot be in touch with heaven again. Remember the connect of the mind. Remember, it is the spirit. When he said, Eloi, Eloi, Lamak Sabachthani, did the father reply? Because that which is flesh is flesh. That which is spirit is spirit. The Holy Spirit was not with Jesus on the cross. If he was with Jesus, the nails would not enter his hands. He had to leave Jesus. That was where the cry was happening. For the first time, the Trinity will be separated. And he said, can this cup, this cup of disunion, can it pass off me? He said, but it has to happen. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. That was the reason why when they held him from that time, everything that happened to him was happening to Adam and whoever came from Adam. You see that now? then when he was hung on that cross the bible tells us that you know the nails and everything and he stood there and listen to what he said he said father into thy hands i commend my spirit jesus now went to hell i hope you know that jesus went to hell to fight satan not with the assistance of the holy spirit he went as man adam to hell the Holy Ghost was not there. No, it was not there at all. You see that? If the Holy Ghost was there, Jesus would not be able to go where he's going. Are we together now? And he stood there, defeated Satan, collected the keys. And then on the third day, that same spirit that had left him now came back. If that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, the Bible says, if that same spirit dwells now today, in your mortal body it would do certain things i'm just giving us a little you know just playing with our minds a little let's go back to what we're discussing he said that there is a mystery that activates the holy spirit searching the deep things of god and revealing it to us and he says tied to it is our glorification among the many things listen carefully among the many things that this mystery can bring is to transport the superior wisdom of God and to reveal them to man through the spirit that part of the blessings of the crucifixion of Christ and the import of redemption is the ability to engage a mystery that causes the Holy Spirit to search the deep things of God and reveals to man the mystery that controls creativity the mystery that controls innovation 
the mystery that controls divine strategy the mystery that controls supernatural solutions the mystery that can stir up every dormant gifting and ability in man the hidden mystery let's discuss the technology of activating this mystery Jesus number one write this down the first thing I want you to note is that the mind of God is a compendium of infinite wisdom write it down the mind of God God has a mind the Bible says that the spirit can search everything in the mind of God even the deep things so write it down that God's mind God himself his mind is full of infinite wisdom number two whatever this mystery is we know that it is engaged by speaking write it down we're establishing something now please just help those under the anointing let's be sensitive i believe that god will be giving a lot of impartations the mystery is engaged by speaking so we know that for the activation of this mystery your mouth has a role to play now listen very carefully number three you see this thing we call speaking in tongues look at me everybody look at me we have missed a lot in it those who taught us speaking in tongues taught us that every time you open your mouth you are doing the same thing speaking in tongues has dimensions and all those dimensions have allocations in the spirit for what they achieve just because it looks like you are doing the same thing so you think every time you are speaking in tongues this mystery is activated by speaking there is the speaking in tongues that is for intercession there is the speaking in tongues that is engaging the mystery that makes the spirit of god to start searching the deep things of god it's not just that because you open your mouth you are praying i'm going to guide you you will understand what i'm saying shortly it is the mystery of speaking in an unknown tongue listen but the goal is not intercession nor supplication the goal is a system of reception that speaking in tongues is not only an instrument for intercession there is a dimension of tongues that you speak to receive you receive things in the spirit by engaging that mystery not just interceding for sinners not just praying there is a dimension of the hidden wisdom of god that every time you begin to utter tongues with that revelation and with that consciousness the holy spirit does not just come as an intercessor it's a message you are sending to the spirit that i am in need of a mystery and the holy spirit says i get the message you are saying there is a way you can pray that he knows i'm interceding for a sinner he joins you there is a way you can pray but that there is a tongue you can utter from the earth that is a message to the holy ghost i am stranded i need something for my glory and he goes and starts to search most of us think every time we pray in tongues because it sounds the same you think you are saying the same thing those who have taught praying in tongues have only taught it with respect to accessing spiritual power like okay power if you want power just pray in tongues or if you want to feel like you're a prayer warrior there are all kinds of dimensions the same electricity powers a keyboard the same electricity powers fan the same electricity but there is a way you can channel it there is a dimension of tongues that is not for intercession it is a dimension the moment you utter it the spirit of god goes to the mind of the father that the end of that tongues is a revelation of something you did not know before you started praying that tongues cannot stop with you say amen and you go back no way no way mm -mm. you don't just pray and finish the one you are praying when you pray just say thank you jesus lord i give you all the glory because you were interceding and you were building up your spirit man but that when you engage these tongues something must leave god and manifest physically you can hold it and say this is the answer i give you thanks then the secret was revealed to daniel 
a king came and said tell me my dream and the interpretation otherwise i would destroy you daniel showed us i don't know what daniel did in the night he said king there is no man that can know this thing no he said but wait before you kill us give me time in the night when others will help that lady please in the night when i don't know what daniel did but all i know is that daniel tapped into a frequency in the spirit and daniel received this let me tell you this listen very carefully i know this because there was a prayer daniel was praying that made gabriel to come to earth not to fight but to bring a message it's in your bible he was praying a prayer many people say that no it was not a it was not just a prayer of warfare it, gabriel said i am sent something about your prayer called heaven i am come with the answer understanding and the bible says this mystery god ordained it for our glory daniel was an ordinary man these saints in the bible were ordinary people it is these mysteries that turn them to become like gods upon the earth what kind of men are these they want to kill somebody and a human being with flesh and blood says give me time he goes to the secret place and says king i have your answer and the king looked at him the dreamer forgot his dream the dreamer forgot his dream and someone went to bed and all of a sudden came back this one is not word of knowledge oh this is a download of a strategy word of knowledge gives you in part this one comes to give you an information imagine what that would do to your life imagine that you can tap let me tell you listen without this strategy you will never move forward in life you will get to points where you will stay grounded nothing on earth has the capacity to move you and the spirit of god just stands and, oh i'm born again ba, 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 ba. you can pray for three hours and intercede for everybody and the holy ghost will say if you know this is what apostle paul that guy was a dangerous guy that paul you see paul came and saw the believers and knew what was wrong he knew what was wrong with their spiritual life you guys are zealous you guys pray all the time but there's something you don't have let me teach you remember they were filled with the holy ghost already what he did in chapter 12 14 was to explain to them but paul saw that they were not maximizing certain things he said let me teach you you see all these mysteries i share let me show you how they come this paul teaching now paul says i am ordinary some of the apostles knew jesus before me but i was taught this mystery and every time i engage it it was while paul was doing this that the holy ghost brought him a mystery he said church let me arrange the gifts of the spirit now in a way that will profit the body that's not normal you don't do that by education let me tell you there are things god has brought to me by this truth you see ba, when the truth of scripture comes to you from heaven you may not be able to share everything but there are truths some of this system of operating in the anointing this is how they came a visitation son this is how this thing works if you understand what I'm saying brothers and sisters the next time you go to pray many of you will have some of you have done it unconsciously that's why you see people come to testify i went to bed and i had a visitation no nobody just comes they are called they may use the face of a man they made god had mercy on you you just knew you were praying something about your prayer called heaven listen read your bible and see men who called heaven some did not get an answer some got an answer the bible calls it a mystery how could god leave men on earth without an assistance do you think god knows god does not know that you need to prosper do you think god does not know imagine the sicknesses in this world 
do you not know that even the anointing most of us are stranded we don't even know how to use it effectively it is the holy ghost that comes look at jesus jesus saw a man and knew that the only thing that will heal this man is to spit on the ground he never repeated it again a mystery that came look at how joshua it was divine strategies that gave people victory in the bible none of those strategies were repeated again they happened just once they, they how can a man look and say i will go over a, a jericho seven times knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and can look at that gentleman who gave a testimony he had it's a, it's a true testimony i got i got it too he broke his I, I i don't know whether he broke his teeth or i think they were supposed to remove four of his teeth or something an accident and then something else happened to him and the gentle i don't know what he did though but the gentleman said he went to bed and all of a sudden a revelation comes and he gets up and he's God. nothing just happens like that it's not true there is a dimension of god's glory that will never manifest in our lives for as long as all you think will bring you glory and greatness in life is just certificate or wisdom from age or just searching google how to be rich enter how to do business enter how to be a good wife enter for as long as that's what you are doing that's sophia the wisdom of men there is a superior dimension most of us know it but you think it just comes just by looking at the bible alone no there is a dimension where you can call for the assistance of heaven there are certain things let me tell you god taught me about the anointing he taught me not by saying he taught me by imparting that knowledge i can't teach it because it was not through words it's, it's a lecture but it came like a software see what makes men unusual is the mysteries that upgrade their lives not their skin not their body when you see an ordinary person and you see a dimension of result that is not human go back and ask either a witch or a wizard appear to that person or something must have happened in the realm of the spirit hmm. are we together that you can go back and look at your family and they can say what is special about the easter and he said lord there has to be an answer to what is happening in this family are you not seeing the way our families are how many of you have seen that the solution cannot come from it the deep things of god there are pastors stranded in ministry look at the foolish instructions people do to rise in life it does not sound human but because it came from the mind of god it produces strange results go around the city seven times because it came to a man he went round and the city collapsed are we blessed i'm sharing with you a reality that i've worked in myself stupid things but came i know how to call for help from heaven if you don't know in this wicked world the devil will eat you up and spit out your bones it's not every tongue that is just for building up your spirit there is a dimension of praying in tongues that is a cry of mercy in the realm of the spirit i need assistance oh god i am stranded except you help from heaven i cannot do anything and all of a sudden an emissary is sent from the realm of the spirit and comes to deliver as desired paul said the hidden wisdom that god ordained for our glory Are you getting blessed now let's continue let me show you something go to verse 10 verse 10 please sit down sit down thank you sit down it says but god has revealed them to us listen carefully it says by his spirit for the spirit searched all things yea the deep things of god that's why we stop right now paul is trying to explain to them that the holy spirit is the searcher of these things 
but now he's telling us that there is a limitation to this thing and here's the limitation go ahead he says okay if we've, we've read go to verse 12 verse 12 now we have received the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of god that we may know the things that are freely given to us 13 which things we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth but which the holy ghost teacheth comparing spiritual things with spiritual 14 but the natural man now watch this this is the limitation to this experience once you are natural excuse me once you are natural he says but the natural man cannot receive these things why he says for they are the nature of that mystery is such that you must be a child to be able to receive it it's too childish for natural people to access it what is it in a dance and breakthrough what is it in an instruction and miracle alert these are manifestations of the hidden wisdom of god for they are foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned two more verses 15 but he that is spiritual judgeth all things yet he is judge of no man 16 for who had known the mind of the lord that he may instruct him the word instruct him there is not just to direct him who had known let's let's see what amplify says amplify puts it beautifully there give us amplify for who has known or understood the mind the counsel and the purposes of the lord so as to guide and instruct him and give him knowledge he said but we have the mind of christ and do hold the thoughts the feelings and the purposes of his heart it's a question he was asking who yeah he says who which ordinary man knows the mind of christ that he can even instruct him he said we do not qualify to know the mind of christ but by that spirit he says we have the mind of christ we have access something that men cannot have the ability to hold the thoughts the feelings the purposes of his heart men rise in this kingdom through the mysteries that they know men rise in this kingdom your life and my life is not just going to rise just because of our education as good as it is your life is not going to rise just by the informations there are things in your life the answer is not in any book on earth there are things there are solutions in your life that need to come that there is no other way of accessing it i show you a system that was created in the kingdom for our glorification someone met me one time a gentleman and he said he works in the bank and he said they gave them an assignment to bring a particular target me too when i had that amount i said Habba, where is this guy a thief where is he going to go and raise that kind of money within one month or whatever let me tell you there are things in your life you stand and look at this mountain you do everything you know to do it will not move at that level you stop trying you allow the spirit of god remember i told you the mind of god is a compendium of infinite wisdom i dare to tell you there is an answer to every question it just depends on who tells you the answer there is an answer the bible is full of men women people who they, do you know do you know i believe with all my heart that it was part of this hidden wisdom that guided solomon to give a thousand bond offering yes he loved the lord but that kind of thing cannot be normal it's not just no it's not just a, will you carry a thousand bond no solomon there is a formula to get what you are looking for and it directed him and he did something that was foolish and god came he said you called me he didn't say you slaughtered animal you called me i'm here solomon what should i do for you and solomon says so this thing works ah look at the kinds of instructions that would come you guys are not going to win oh. why you are not circumcised ah what is the relationship between my being circumcised and holding a knife 
I am a warrior. The angel said, you can go and fight and die like a chicken. I've told you, the force that controls this result is your circumcision, not your sword. So if you want to win, circumcise everybody. Imagine the enemies watching men sit down for seven days. They can't walk. They can't move. He said, what's wrong with these people? Warriors. He said, a, a ghost came and said, we can't win. Your knife is sharp, but you are not circumcised. And he said, you cannot win. David went and carried five stones. Does that make sense to you? Carried five stones to kill a giant. When he came and stood before Goliath, Goliath said, Abba, David, me? Re I know I will kill you, but at least respect me. Am I a dog? Is he a dog that you are chasing? He didn't know that that thing was a mystery. There's nowhere where stone was carried to kill anybody except the one that the angels use hailstone to kill people. A mystery was revealed to that young boy and he stood before Goliath with his foolishness and arrogance and took his head down, used his knife, cut it and gave it to the birds. That one experience brought him a wife. He became tax free. Are we together? His family was exempted from all and he was given great wealth and honor. Say the deep things of God. Say it again, the deep things of God. Let me tell you this. You know why I'm teaching you this? Because there are many people who believe just because you prophesy and say in the name of Jesus, enter a new dimension, everything will change about their lives. Most men of God will want you to believe that just because they prophesy, everything will change. There are answers that must come to you from heaven by yourself. That you go to bed in the night and wake up with something that works for only you. Nobody who applies what was revealed to you that it will work for. It was sent from heaven for you. what i'm saying now i don't mean to be disrespectful but you can get up and see just because you don't see koinonia posters around you now go and then don't produce poster too for you is copy and you find out that no people say i don't know what you are doing you didn't inform me i said ah, but how are they doing it here they are not just doing it here it was received that's why it's working and you mean you were there when I told you God gave me the solution for the spreading of koinonia messages. Is there? I came and told him, I said, God has given me the answer. No selling videos, no packaging anything. Put it online. And the Lord said he will give it wings. That was the instruction. The hidden wisdom for our glory. Look, the blessing that the Lord has brought today because of the ability to access the deep things of God brothers and sisters imagine other things that can happen to your life imagine how the god can end that mockery in your family overnight by one encounter with the wisdom of god do a b c and you stand up foolishly and do it and that's the end of it do you believe what i'm telling you listen there are there are families that are suffering that even welfare can't help them no matter how you give to them the the level of trouble in that family is such that even one destiny helper cannot be able to help them because the need is recurrent it's not one time if they eat today there's no hope 11 people nobody is educated nobody went to school nobody can do any business they are all old brother you need something that is not in this earth this is a message of hope this is a message of hope young men listen to me if you don't access this you will never be established in your life i promise you fifty thousand per month will not establish you for life i give you a guarantee go and put your money in the bank and get five percent per annum and let me see how much in 10 years that's 50 percent and see how much that will help to build your life no 
most successful people will never tell you everybody knows what he did in the secret you are just seeing the result a man gets up from nowhere and builds an estate they call it favor but they won't tell you the dynamics your favor is real i testify your favor is real your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your goodness is real i testify let me tell you this in one of the days of the seven days prayer and fasting i went to the lord and i prayed a simple prayer and i went to bed now this this these are occurrences that happen to me all the time i was i woke up in the night and usually i go to bed there was no light and i woke up and found out someone had on my lamp my lamp physically now these are experiences that happen to me all the time opened my lamp and then i saw no not this book another one opened and a biro there i i know because i knew the moment i see this i know god wants to speak to me and i just said lord i'm ready to write and one two three four god just brought something to my life i said that's it god whatever it is you have done for me i rejoice forever i cried for over one hour seven days prayer and fasting i said my god my god brothers and sisters if your eyes is not open from heaven you will not see if your ears are not open from heaven you cannot hear a man can receive nothing except it is given to him you hear me tell you this a man can you hear me just prophesy and say in the name of jesus it's not just what i'm speaking there is something i receive that is released through what i'm saying that creates the effect when i say the part it's not just because i'm anointed everybody operates by the secrets that are working in their life hallelujah i share this thing with you because i want god to surprise you that you can see this a family that have no business buying a car they don't know nothing about finances they can access something and in two weeks all of them are on their knees saying god what is this where did this one come from listen the bible says it was meant for our glorification not our shame god does not lift men to bring shame to their lives we don't know his system it's a mystery that paul used think how many times they tried to kill paul think how many times they tried to do whatever they would do with paul there is no such thing as hopelessness for any man once you are alive you are only hopeless until the mystery leaves heaven and gets to you that's why the prince of Persia fought the information not the angel no don't get this to daniel if daniel receives this something will happen let me tell you that fight was not old testament fight that fight is a fight that happens every time something is leaving heaven and coming to you satan will he knows that one thing that will he sent a word to jacob and it lighted upon israel he sent a word to one lady and it changed the story of our generation that nobody in your family rises to a level and all of a sudden something enters you and you just turn and let me tell you i can know what has entered you by the results that follow these things eh? take your eyes away from physical things when god gave me this physical things are remote controlled forget all these things you desire it's not by chasing them there is a central control button in life i guarantee you that brings you these things one of it is this physical results you have seen it happen in this ministry you have seen it again and again no man can do these things except god be with him i'm saying this to you because the reality of the death of christ is useless until your life brings glory to your family 
we keep mocking ourselves as christians going everywhere jesus died for me i am born again there is nothing that symbolizes glory not in our lives not in the life of anybody every unsaved person is still unsaved there is something you and god can do that will make the hardened sinner in your family within two weeks you will come one night and hear him listening to a message from your phone you say sorry sir this is a christian message say you don't know what happened to me just leave me quietly you just know that god has come to your family something you did called for his help and he came hallelujah you hear that lady one point hand is touched changes to four points you try it and see if it will change it's not the hand it's the mystery it's not the hand so most people just think oh i will just confess just because the bible says to speak and in the name of jesus i decree and declare oh receive this and you find out nothing happens because you see it is what supports what you are saying not just the speech itself you may not know but your results begin to show first you would think it's a coincidence so you are not sure you are even afraid of the result but then you see that it becomes predictable predictable ah, ah. someone blessed sam today in the evening someone blessed him next tomorrow someone blessed him next tomorrow someone blessed him and you find out that no this this is not so your little church one member comes then the next thing five people come you see somebody who say i'm a keyboardist my friend is a drummer the lord just led us to your church say no but this can't be a coincidence i've been in ministry for 10 years no there is no coincidence everything is intentionally calculated even the disappearance of favor from your family was intentionally programmed it will take something from the spirit listen there are some of us here you graduated with a third class let's tell ourselves the truth if it is in this nigeria there is no human being who is going to employ you ordinarily i'm not making you scared there are some of us who what we have studied with all humility what we have studied that value is not celebrated nor needed in nigeria it's the truth there are some of us because of the tribes we come from there are wicked men that sit in positions in this country and make sure they frustrate you there are some of us even if you collect salary the 10 other people in your family who need you to eat will make that salary look like 10 naira you need to access these mysteries are we together you need to access these mysteries i will show you how Kai. oh god i'm grateful oh god i'm grateful oh god i'm grateful time will tell whether we are just talkatives or dispensers of the mysteries of the kingdom time will tell whether what you are receiving is a cunningly devised fable or is a programming that will make you surprised at your own life that somebody will look at you and say i know you are a villager you say you you insulted me for 30 years but i found something that in six months brought glory to my life that you will bring the gospel to your family you bring the not just the gospel you are able you may be the last born but this thing does not do with age whoever can get the holy spirit to bring you something from the mind of god you will change your life understand this you see all these manifestations that happen it's not just the anointing you see let me tell you something with when you catch a spiritual mystery there is an effect of that understanding on your environment you see that so every time people come under that circumference they're even without directly receiving it they become benefactors of that experience it's true if you have a vision and you see an angel now anyone within that vicinity will benefit there are others that opening of that portal insight will come to them they were not praying just because you open the portal someone will benefit from it the prophet opened the eyes of another person he never said do you have faith do you believe because he could see someone's eyes open
but the natural man the man who is scientific the man who laughs at anything that is of god the man who looks at all these things and say look let me tell you i i went to harvard business school i'm a smart man i know everything about economy i i went to so 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 business school nothing is wrong with that i did this and that look i'm a smart gentleman i got this and that the bible says those kinds of people to them when you are talking like this they are some of these bloggers that write nonsense and extract messages like this and say look at the rubbish that they are teaching members and another natural man will concur and say yes so they teach people to dance in church they teach people to jump like fools ah religion the opium of the masses i don't know who taught that but what i am telling you is the mystery that men have accessed and produced wonders with you see if this ministry was not successful many of you think you are just talking just because of this is let me tell you something with results results strengthen your message are you hearing this now that's why for many of you no one has received your gospel results defy argument you can argue with a man but you can't argue with results a woman can be barren but when that woman is pregnant it's not water that is in her stomach it's a human being this earth you see is like a computer game whoever has the control button will make nonsense of satan in this earth there are things i have learned that have surprised me how satan hid this thing from the church and those who access these things are those who do witchcraft and scientology and all of this so the condition is they initiate you into those devilish things they say come they put incisions they do all kinds of occult groups and then they show you something that has always been there always been there you sell your soul to the devil for money you sell your soul but and, it, and you know we preachers insult people why sell your soul but hunger was it not hunger that took israel to egypt if they were satisfied they would not go there was hunger and they all went hunger is still taking men to egypt we must be able to find a system to make goshen fruitful so that they don't need to go to egypt don't sit down and tell people uh, why why are you doing this why will you go and sleep with a man to get uh, a job can you do you know the mystery that can give the sister the job come let me pray for you except i'm a man of god you will get a job in two weeks five years she has not gotten the job and she just says don't mind this guy my family is dying there and this arrogant pastor wants to leave me in pain but happy are you brothers and sisters that you can look at a man and enter a family and they said look look at us sorry we're embarrassed there is nothing to eat our father is about leaving jesus christ and saying that by next week he's going to go to a herbalist in the village and you say daddy give me 24 hours something will happen in this house give me 24 hours and the man says you are a young boy we did all this jesus thing those days in boys brigade he said no problem i agree with you sir just allow me and within 24 hours something happens and the man calls you and says sorry i don't understand i'm, I'm a proud man i usually don't talk to small boys but sit down and you tell him jesus is still the way jesus is still the la truth jesus is still the life how about that my herbalist leave him i brought you the reality he said he gave it for our glory listen hear me church if we trivialize the desperation of men to see the glory of god in their life we will lose our members to occultists did you hear what i said any pastor any prophet any apostle any man of god that trivializes the importance of the members experiencing the glory of god i guarantee you a day will come our young men our keyboardists will go to shrines because they must eat they must become they will become herbalists our ladies will go and fraternize with the gates of hell we will be there jumping on stage dispensing all kinds of things there are things that pertain to life and godliness not just godliness to life your child must go to school to life your child can be born again and not be educated 
and as a result your child will become a slave to every other person there are some of us everyone in your family works for someone they distribute them to go and be slaves you are 10 in your family nobody can stand alone you go and help this uncle wash his car you Abba. your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your kindness is real i testify hallelujah look at someone like kenny look at this gentleman i i don't mean to make him feel bad his dad has gone to be with the lord his mother has gone to be with the lord everybody that can help him in life has gone he's on his own it's easy for a preacher who has food in his house to run your mouth and say you will make it and leave this gentleman by the time he suffers his sister is crying everybody is crying this guy will get into gambling he will get into occultism he will get into every kind of demonic thing that's what we are we are losing our members in church because they are not seeing the reality the validity of what the word says we are losing our ladies to ungodly people we are losing our gentlemen our fathers are becoming herbalists covenanting generations in shrines because hunger is taking them to egypt i will never preach a god who is not alive it's a vow i made right from when god called me I will preach a God that can be proven here and now that he is not only the saver of souls he's the lifter of men he's the anointer of men he's the revealer of secrets I love you too much some of you as you are hearing me now you check your phone and you see missed calls from your loved ones we have not eaten for three days please if you're a man of God here let's take people seriously let's not just be acting games with people's destinies I bring you good news there is a way out there is a way out there is a way out we have orphans in this place we have widows in this place we have widowers in this place it's not their fault that they could not be educated do you blame a child was it his fault you see a woman of 60 years with her two children there is no physical hope of any breakthrough they are the ones who give us offerings and we collect as men of god they are the ones who carry their last money and kneel down and give us our job is to collect and eat let me tell you god will soon start punishing us men of god who are collecting people's offering and not giving them the truth that will lift them after service i can stand here and some of you will carry your last money and come and give me and i will collect and go back will be tied me if i don't teach you the truth it's not fair we keep destroying people's destinies in the name of church look at how many young men sit down and they are asking man of god you are established me i'm not show me now so that what the sower and the reaper will rejoice but i keep telling you you just keep sowing in my life and sit down there while i am enjoying it as i'm talking to you now my food is ready some of you you love god but right where you are there is no food for you to eat how long will this continue we say it's easter jesus died he conquered satan oh dead where is your sting we mock ourselves in church and the only people who rejoice are the men of god your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your goodness is real I testify listen gentlemen let me teach you something there are things you can learn you will bring one song one song not ten songs nobody rises as a result of a full album there is one song that comes from there is the one you compose that your worship teammates will clap for you and with it they will invite you to two or three ministrations and you go back as usual but there is one that comes from the throne you will sit down and hear them playing it in africa and you will mint money as if you are a charmer and god says that's not the issue i'm just proving to you that everything from above is above all there are some of you there's one idea that this mystery can bring you go and meet someone and say sir this is it and the person says because of this come i will read the bible look at modern history and see people's lives change 
when you hear some of the songs that he'll song right look at the young guys they are not even neatly dressed you know that this one is the grace of god upon a vessel you ask them to compose songs by themselves and see the rubbish they will write there are music artists in this nation we all know where they got their songs from it does not make sense and it has blessed them that's to tell you there is a force that is not human you listen to it you can't stop something in it draws you most of us write songs you carry a paper and a biro and sit down with the consciousness of the hunger that is in front of you and you just find a scripture where will i lift up my eyes two times I will say amen i will say amen the lord be praised two times it will never never sell not in this kingdom if if listen you are laughing i'm very serious with what i'm saying if it is god's result it must come from him there are pastors that love god doing everything they were taught in bible school but it's not working because the forces that keep men down the forces that keep men down can only be dislodged by an intelligence that is not earthly as for me joshua selman i have made my choice that this is how i'm going to live my life my life is too risky to be human this the earth is too wicked for me to live just as a human being i must live as a divine being because it is he that cometh from above that is above all are we together we have doctors here if you follow the normal course the thing they are doing in shika you will never really rise because one day you will see somebody who will look at you and say dr david i know you are qualified dr halima but because you are not from my village i sit on your destiny i am professor this and that and he says all right sir you go back and engage this mystery and come out and in his presence he will sign you as you are rising tomorrow he will come in the dedication of a foundation and you just say ah that is a is my own i wanted to tell you that i didn't stop rising after all of your mockery my god is still alive listen don't you dare laugh at any man that understands what i'm saying they may carry their 200 naira trouser and surprise you I bring you a message of hope brothers and sisters this storm that rage over our families will not rage forever there is a way out this Easter there is a way out there is a way out the way out is to be able to access this hidden mystery now sit down let me explain to you the last thing and then we'll pray Hallelujah. pray I'm already seeing an electric cable sparking is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Hallelujah. The overflow by the roadside, there's someone receiving a healing anointing. That overflow, overflow two now. There's someone receiving a healing anointing. A healing anointing. That's what I'm seeing. A healing anointing. It will be by the spirit you may not be a preacher but you are receiving it and it will change your life oh what business can lift me let me try this let me try that and you keep crying you access this mystery and you are sitting down and here it comes and your life rises and changes I know a woman years ago she she got into coca-cola business and the only reason why she got into coca-cola business was because she was just sitting down according to what she told me and it was like a vision and she saw a like a what they call this thing this thing they buy container and she was bringing coca-cola from it immediately she knew that this was where my prosperity was you see why many of us keep trying things and wasting our time you are trying you need to receive god knows where your money is your money is not everywhere it is in the place directed geography matters when it comes to do prosperity isaac sowed in that land 
and the woman started it mysteriously help started coming for her and that was how this woman rose up do you know when i spoke with this woman from what i know about financial intelligence i i saw how unfair life can be for such a woman to be prospering i think the only thing that woman may know is just how to count money and all of that but just because she was directed the lord is my shepherd and so i shall not want hallelujah the character of this kind of prayer listen carefully let me tell you the difference between praying in tongues the prayer language for your spiritual building your edification and the prayer that is for reception number one when you pray these kinds of prayer listen the kind of prayer that receives is not a prayer that is done with aggression your mind has to be alert listen carefully i'm giving you there are certain kinds of prayer that the power of god comes upon you you are praying in tongues you must exert energy because of the gravity of what is happening in the spirit these tongues these tongues you see is the kind of tongues that as you are communicating god allows your mind to still be alert because something is happening as you are activating certain things ideas are coming it's not just the kind of tongues that you go to the forest alone and you are shouting this one you are praying you are receiving something is coming from heaven for you to receive your mind must be alert as you pray your mind must be alert as you pray it's not every kind of prayer that your mind is alert. There are times you are just praying. Sometimes you are not even yourself. Five hours will pass, you don't know. Because there is a dimension. But when you are praying to activate this mystery, your mind must be alert to receive that which God is bringing. Number two, listen. Everything received must be documented or preserved immediately because of the nature of how spiritual things are listen carefully spiritual things are very volatile you can lose a spiritual information in five minutes and it will take the grace of god to receive sometimes it can be a vision that vision you can understand it immediately so you find a way of preserving it my phone is full of voices of encounters sometimes i'm praying and the things i'm seeing i start recording it immediately because i know if this thing sleeps it may not come back again I, is somebody getting this now most of you when these kinds of things happen you say no problem let me finish my three hours prayer and it leaves never comes again that was a five years breakthrough that just disappeared in one strategy you see why prophets were writers when i'm praying i pray with my books my is on my hand my phone everything because there are times i will need to draw there are times i will need to quickly write there are times i will need to record i get up in the morning i i found out that sometimes writing is too slow how many of you have gotten up and you literally had seconds to preserve something seconds if it escapes that second sometimes when god is merciful to you he will draw you to start praying you think you are just praying you are repeating the same thing and there the dream comes again Are we together let me tell you something i have gotten information in pieces that the complete picture came within the span of three years spiritual things are very strange you can get one part you need to preserve it because you will need that part the other part will come december the next year and then the last piece comes january when you piece three of them together they equate a dimension of breakthrough that your life will never recover from so when you are praying these kinds of prayer you can go to the place of prayer knowing that my purpose of prayer is to receive a strategy i'm going there lord i'm going to receive and all of a sudden you are praying you are praying you are alert you are alert there are sometimes in the midst of your prayer you will find out that the grace to pray supposedly lifts you can't pray again don't just get up and say it's a demonic attack. Be silent. His voice is coming. 
something is coming most of us don't understand these dynamics of prayer there are times you are praying and you just feel like sitting down somewhere help them please and you just sit down somewhere quietly like a zombie you are even afraid because you don't want people to think that you came and you were joking you see the mistake we make when we get to the place of prayer we just shut the door and make sure everybody around is hearing us to justify our spirituality we are cheating ourselves of dimensions there are times you can go to prayer and for two hours nobody has heard you you've not even started the prayer you are sitting down and for two hours you are like a librarian dictating mysteries that you yourself don't understand one day god will say remember what i told you go to your book page 75 check the last column that's the answer for what you are looking for there are times that i've gone to make reference to books things i wrote 2008 2009 i just remember i've seen this image somewhere and god says remember i go and look for the book i remember when koinonia was going to start that's when i remembered that god had revealed that thing to me 2005 i now when i was searching the book immediately i opened i saw everything revealed verbatim do you believe what i'm sharing with you we're going to pray many of us lose it listen to me every time you stand before a challenge and you want to pray don't just go and wail oh god you too you know how we are if you don't arise you can cry you can do everything you want to do but the moment you pray do you know many times you will see your prayer alternating you know that the last 30 minutes was warfare the next 30 minutes is not warfare that that prayer they all have their characteristics you can know that i was praying for two hours but the last 20 minutes of that prayer is this one is is a serious warfare what is happening you thought that after two hours it will go and all of a sudden a grace for prayer comes again and you can push through another two hours there are times you go to pray you cannot even reach 20 minutes if you are not careful you think you are backsliding it is the context of the communication of the spirit religion is a dangerous thing it will destroy your prayer life there are times i've sat down to pray from morning till evening and i'm unable to say a word highest worship is just playing i want to get up and maybe the only thing i can say in that prayer session is thank you jesus thank you jesus i give you all the praise thank you jesus here it comes i'm writing thank you jesus okay teach these people this thank you jesus your people don't understand this thank you jesus the way to go about this is to do a b c d thank you jesus okay don't worry i will reveal to you the answer during leaders meeting thank you jesus they that are led by the spirit of god you see when you understand what i'm teaching you you will not only command signs and wonders your life will be a sign and a wonder we win in life by strategies if naomi never went to the farm of boaz she would never marry marriageable but no strategy if the walls of jericho the people carried their sword and tried to bring down that gate they would have slaughtered them like chickens just the arrows from the watchmen would kill them and destroy them it takes strategies to win you have dreams where is the strategy when i meet pastors they tell me their message but they don't tell me the strategy god said go and raise me a people where do you think these people are and how are you going to fulfill that mandate a friend called me and he said um i should advise him is it right wonderful friend that i love he said is it right for him to continue raising offering in church i said well i don't have a problem with it but go and find out how god designed the finances of your ministry to run go and pray and receive a strategy do you know the challenge with the body of christ we copy everything without thinking about it we copy if i start rolling this um, um, what do you call it my trousers are now here i do it for two weeks as foolish as it is of course i know it's because you love me and you believe in the word of the lord upon me you will be surprised how somebody will go for lecture with trouser road like that he will never ask and say sorry is it an instruction that is followable or is a unique dealing or you, you are your leg is just paining you and you think you are doing this 
we copy everything and sometimes to our detriment are we blessed I want you to get results you have to be at a lot you have to be focused you have to be discerning one of the ways that we engage these kinds of tongues is to write down all the issues of concern and pray while you look at it there is a relationship between your eyes and the realm of the spirit this eye is not just for looking you can write these things house rent god what is the way out are we together now ministry is not growing i'm trusting you for the healing anointing i've read everything i know what is the way out you are walking around and you just allow the holy spirit pray through you all of a sudden you will just get an idea go down to zaria see apostle let him lay hands on you you see you think that that thing just came there is no other man of god you will meet no matter how anointed that will impart that healing anointing because the instruction is already tied to a vessel sometimes it may not even be to see a man of god there are graces when i wanted god led me to specific people and places i remember i've shared some of them with you we just do things at random no divine direction hallelujah I will never forget one day I was asking God a very serious question about ministry and all of a sudden literally as if as if a force came my hands were shaking and before you knew it I still don't know the name that I typed a YouTube video enter and all of a sudden one old old gray Baba just appears like this with one 25 minutes message and I listened to it that message changed my life I searched for other videos the, the message did not even finish but it contained my answer hallelujah are you blessed mm. you have to learn this if you must rise there are two ways to rise in life hustle if you want to keep moving around and knocking or go to God and say my God show me the way show me the way god can help men oh koinonia hear me my god can help men this trial and error we are doing with our lives is too much sometimes the injury that will come from trying may not allow you to try another day again so the key is to be circumspect access the deep things of god if you're naming tonight's message then it's, it's titled accessing the deep things of god i'm giving you a secret this is what i do with my life lord i thank you sometimes a scripture is coming sometimes the voice of god comes for you sometimes a mystery comes sometimes an instruction comes you see that god can give you all kinds of foolish instructions let me tell you do you know there was a day I do this every once in a while but there was a day God instructed me I was just lying down I, I wasn't asleep and I was praying and all of a sudden I just sensed the anointing and all of a sudden the Spirit of God told me stand up and lie down flat on the ground like get up from your bed oh, and lie imagine if somebody opened my door he said this is it I've, I've, I've always known that this guy there is something occultic he's doing and you would think as i lie down i will feel one ghost i saw nothing i had nothing i lay down like that for about maybe 20 minutes honestly speaking i even started sleeping small and later the voice just came go to bed go and sleep the next meeting that we went i can't remember where i saw a dimension of the grace of god that i couldn't understand i said what happened and god told me while you were lying down your something was happening to you you don't have to feel it you believe it god is not a fool this is how some of you can be there lord who is going to be my helper and god says come out in front of your house and just stand for 15 minutes the natural man lord what i'm, I'm educated and you stand there 10 minutes 
somebody passes and say ah promise are you all right he say ah, i'm fine of course you can't tell them it's god that's making you a fool like that and all of a sudden sometimes the 15 minutes will even finish and nothing will happen and you just feel disappointed and you go back and say god this is what you did god is watching your aptness to obeying him one day you will be sleeping in the night and by 2 a.m god will say call pastor alpha just call and tell him what is the message ah god how do i call a married man by 2 a.m god will say do it immediately you call he say i was just about to call you here is the message for you the place is uyo not lagos that's all i saw in my dream look believers you need to be dynamic when you are just straightforward and religious there is no breakthrough the operations of the spirit is like the wind you can't tell where it's coming or where it's going so is one who is led of the spirit there are people here who came from lagos because they were praying lord what do i do with my life and god says stand up come to zaria they can't tell you exactly why they are here that's why when you ask them those questions it's difficult for them to answer they don't want to look like they are stupid sometimes they themselves think they are stupid but keep watching god there is a mystery walking out then you will see the glory and the beauty why will god tell you to leave lagos this gentleman left ghana and came help that lady i said lagos and truly truly she fell under the anointing praise someone gets up and is enjoying oil money in portacourt and god says stand up and go and do two weeks in zamfara another person can be living where there is an oil well and be dying whereas his money is in sokoto as dry and harsh as the weather is your prosperity is where the voice of god is for you not a greener pastures is not a location greener pastures is a realm where the voice of the spirit directs you there are people any other place you go you will not prosper you will prosper in zaria someone will come in zaria and be wondering what is in this place the only thing i saw was just a few shops here but a direction for you every lifting in this ministry and every greatness god has brought happen right here because we could access these mysteries are you ready to pray we are going to pray sit down you are not going to stand up sit down listen you are just going to play these instruments for me just lightly and then I just want you to pray don't shout and mm -mm, just take out time you just pray in the spirit right take out time and pray in the spirit and you will be surprised to be sensitive to what god will be doing for some as you are praying what you'll be receiving is impartation some as you are praying you will not even know what is happening to you not every information must be communicated in words some truths are imparted just do what i'm telling you to do don't worry about those shouting pray in the spirit thank you jesus everywhere inside outside you just pray spirit shalabata kate predikiti baladaba jagate belekete baladaba show us the secrets of our life oh god show us the way out let it come from heaven <laughs> Some of you are receiving things just because your mind is not understanding it. You watch and see what happens to you. 
a few days from now what you have received will start being revealed to you and you will see that this is what happened in koinonia oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Lord, what is the way out for my business? What is the way out for my family? Lord, what is the secret to addressing this barrenness? Lord, what level of unction do I need for this ministry? Why is it not growing? Lord, why is my family stagnated? Why are the works of my hands challenged? Send me help from Zion, O God. just pray koinonia we are soaking in the glory everyone pray in the spirit lord why is my cgpa refusing to rise what must i do i have studied i've done my best go ahead pray lord what do i need to do where is my finances oh god where is it where is the key to the next level what is the formula for my establishment lord how will you bail my family out do i just meet anybody should i meet a particular helper if yes what is the name who is the helper is he in zaria is she in zaria do i need to go out of zaria lord what is the thing is my ministry in zaria is it in nigeria where is it where is my breakthrough pray show me the secrets of my destiny go ahead we are not wasting our time I, I guarantee you the Bible says the natural man the natural man some of you in the silence like the dew of Hammon ideas begin to come that poultry is my will for you don't stop it that public speaking you are about to give up but it is where your finances is don't stop it looks like your church is not growing but you are called you just need an upgrade of the anointing answers coming from heaven spirit of the lord we ask you search for us the deep things search the mind of god concerning our destinies concerning our families concerning our ministries concerning our homes lord where will this budget money come from there is no human way it is going to come but i know that thou art the fountain of wisdom it is in your light that we see light show me show me open my eyes i am tired of doing what everybody is doing i'm tired of failing like everyone i'm tired of saying yes to just anybody open my eyes show me pray just three or four more minutes lord where is the anointing where is the place you want me to be meeting with you for prayer is it my room or do i need to go out of my house every night what is the timing what is my time of receiving revelation from you is there a unique time you want to give me from 12 to 2 every day is it a time you are giving me it may not be so for everybody but what time have you allocated for my visitation do i need to fast once every day do i need to go on a drive fast what do i need to do do i need to dance for seven days show me oh god there has to be a way out why are my heavens closed why do i fast and pray and yet nothing happens why are the nine graduates in my family jobless show me then the secret was revealed unto daniel and daniel blessed the god of heaven
Two more minutes, go ahead and pray. Open my mind, open my mind, open my mind. There is a way out. There is a way to the wealthy place. There is a way to the anointing. There is a way to influence. There is a way to access the mysteries of the kingdom. There is a path which no foul knoweth. The wealth of the lion has not trodden there. Show me, oh God, these mystery paths in the spirit, these virgin dimensions in the spirit that mortal men cannot dare tread. Open my eyes, oh God, like a two-edged sword and let me see the path here marked for my destiny. Hello, Kim Madonna. 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 Just be silent, everyone. Just be silent. Just be as silent as you can. Wherever you are, just be silent. The Lord is putting something in your spirit. Be still and know. Be still and receive. Be still and hear. Be still and enter. Be still and you will know. Just be silent for two or three minutes. God is doing something in your life. Answers coming as words, as impartations. Be still. Some of you, God will be saying, don't waste your time in that direction. That's not the path for your life. Don't waste your time. Be still. Some of you, God will be telling you the change will not come in one day. Just be patient. I will visit your family, but it will take time. Please be patient. Just be patient with me a few minutes and we're done. Be patient. Answers are coming. Think on your business while you are standing. Think on your family while you are standing. Think on your ministry while you are standing. Answers are coming from the throne. Coming from the throne. God is telling you, I will raise help for you. It will not be with your resources that you will make this happen. The helpers are coming. The helpers are coming. The helpers are coming. This sickness is not unto death. This sickness is not unto death. I will give thee health and cure. It is true that the healing ministry is my will for you. It is true that the healing ministry is my will for you. It is true that the healing ministry is my will. It is true that the healing for you. The ministry, the healing ministry, you will walk in it. It is true that the healing ministry is. Just be patient. I see sparks of light. It's a picture of illumination. You are receiving something in your spirit. God is giving some of us clarity. 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 
clarity in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands and I pray for you by the message of God that the same way God sends me insight by the angel of his presence I pray for you whatever alignment your spirit must take to not only hear his voice but receive of the impulses from the throne i make this happen for you now in the name of jesus i make this happen for you now whatever position your ears must take in the spirit your eyes must take in the spirit to clear up the blurry visions to make sure that the speakings are clear i pray for you in the name of jesus May the grace, the spirit of grace, make this happen for you even in this Easter. Supernatural ideas, innovative ideas, supernatural strategies, the strategies that force things to work. Some of you this week will not be over until you begin to see the fruits of superior wisdom this week will not be over until you see things that will marvel you happening by the spirit of god manifesting by the finger of god you will apply the things that you are receiving and you will watch it work it was not supposed to work but because it came by his voice you will see it rise i say to you you will see it rise i speak to you that you will see it rise before the miracle service on Friday some of you will only come for thanksgiving because before then that which you have received from heaven will walk like fire will walk like fire listen there are some of you the next meeting you will go for as a man of God you will be surprised to see the dimension of the operation of the gifts of the spirit you will go for your meetings and God will give you epochal revelations. You will command the realm of the spirit at your beck and call in dimensions that you will be afraid of. And that one experience will open the doors of finances, open the doors of ministry, increase membership, bring increase for you. Listen, there is a reign of wealth and prosperity that is coming upon this ministry. You hear me as I speak. I don't just talk about money just because, no, 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 no. There is a reign, R-A-I-N, of a dimension. I have seen this thing many times in my visions. A dimension. All these miracle alerts are just messages do you know why because God wants to establish men fast to give us room to serve him there is a dimension I want you to write it write it down that there is a dimension brothers and sisters you will see things happen to men you now see that will surprise you I know this by the Spirit one of the impartations that we are coming to receive on friday is this grace for financial exploits please believe it i'm not apologetic about it because we need it your heavenly father knows there are families that must come to just cry and say god if you leave us to ourselves we may not reach the end of this year i'm rounding up a precious woman one wonderful kaduna family that i love so much they left to church this morning while service was going on in this area thieves came and buckled their house because of the financial squalor you can imagine people now leave and go for work they went to church they were praying whereas robbers buckled their house packed 
everything that can be carried pits whatever i, I mean carried them um, i don't know they didn't give me the details of what they carried they entered came and saw their house scattered because of the wickedness of satan let me tell you this a spiritual demarcation has been made over this ministry and everyone connected from this grace you are totally exempted from this financial wickedness it's no longer poverty it's warfare there is a spirit behind it to make sure believers are rubbish to become nonsense to make sure pastors become beggars to make sure nothing is discussed in church again no salvation message only money message to make sure that people never rise that the only thing that happens in church is money and raising seeds the spirit of poverty please i want you to come on friday with your heart open while praying for the sick but some of this let's trust god to make this thing happen in our lives but you mark my word koinonia what is about to happen to men and women god has seen your heart you will see the sudden liftings of men by divine strategies i saw it in that vision people helping themselves and it's like a chain reaction within a short period of time rising in a way that is enviable he made this for our glory father we give you praise tonight we respect your authority in this house we respect what you are doing we take you seriously and we believe you thank you oh god for showing us tonight a system for accessing the deep things of god i pray oh god that you will grant us grace that as we pray this prayer we receive deep things from the kingdom and that grace be supplied to walk in the instructions thereof lord i am asking you to lift everyone lift everyone connected to this vision first lift us spiritually oh god let no one be weak in this place let no one be small in this place oh god let your sons and daughters be men and women of fire and insight and then i pray oh god that the things that pertain unto life you will give us the thing the issues of life may they be solved once and for all that we may have the time to serve you and declare your praises to the nations we thank you we receive it by faith and we declare that this is our experience in the name of jesus christ apostle i want to give my life to jesus christ keep standing everybody i love him with all my heart but seeing what he has done tonight it is a call for me to run to him you're here inside outside overflow one two three by the roadside online you are saying man of god i want to run to jesus i have seen that this is the way i want my life to be or you are here you are saying apostle i've handed my life to jesus but i want to rededicate my life i want to take him seriously because he is my life wherever you are please make sure you run here overflow outside overflow one and two you can come in join those inside overflow three for time's sake just walk to your projector stand please do this quickly wherever you are god bless you god bless you thank you for your courage my brother thank you my sister god bless you i see you coming make sure you don't sit back i love you jesus keep coming quickly i worship and adore you just want to tell you that i love you more than anything are you coming please make your way very quickly i love you jesus appreciate them as they come I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you that I love you more than anything. One more time. I believe somebody still needs to come and join them. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you.
those in front and those at overflow three and those online all of you please say this after me come join them darling quickly say lord jesus say it from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe you love me i believe you gave your heart your life to set me free tonight i receive of your life i receive righteousness i receive all that you have done for me and i declare that i am a child of god the life of god is in my spirit i declare that you are my lord now and forever i declare that the spirit of the living god comes into my life tonight and he's with me forever thank you jesus let me pray for you father thank you for these precious people they have come in honor of the call that you have made over their lives and destinies lord preserve them validate this declaration that they have made by faith by granting them access to the spirit of truth the one who can search the mind of the father i pray that you make their lives beautiful produce the garden of eden out of every wilderness in the name of jesus christ amen and amen now thank you so much gentlemen i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you please go ahead follow him appreciate them as they do so same thing for those at overflow three hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much for your patience um just give me a few minutes three five minutes and we're done this is your first time worshiping with us aside from those going out your first time here at koinonia um it's a special service we're doing it on sunday usually our services are fridays but um aside from overflow three if you are here overflow one two and inside you're most welcome please make your way to the front it's my joy and honor to welcome you very personally please appreciate all those worshiping with us for the first time god bless you god bless you come boldly come boldly make your way please clear the way for them outside those who are coming some of you have come from very very far some of you have come from within town you are most welcome all those following us online in whatever nation of the world whatever time zone it is there we love you we bless the lord for your life thank you so much for connecting with us the same grace at work here will work in your life let's honor them one more time everyone bless you bless you. dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development Lord, grant me the discipline